All righty. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? We got some folks in here. Hello, Drive from Main Nick. How you doing? Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of Rain World, followed by Mechabellum, followed by some Heroes Hour. So we got three games planned out for today. Also, uh, today is what? Monday. Monday. So I'm thinking Thursday, we should do a bit of a special event. Why don't I line up a bunch of roguelikes and um, play them one after another? I, I'm going to pick a bunch of roguelikes that most of you have probably never seen. And uh, yeah, it should, it should be a cool special event that we'll be doing on Thursday. So that that sounds cool to me. I'll probably mention that a couple more times. What's up, Michaela? What's that? Which one? Oh, okay. Yep. But yeah, that should be fun. Breach Wanderers. Is that one you're suggesting there, Drive? I've got a bunch of roguelikes that I've literally never played. So I, I could see myself grabbing a couple of those. And may, maybe some other stuff too. Like there, there's there's definitely a lot of options, that's for sure. So many games. Alright. Uh but yeah, let's let's go ahead and get into the rain world. We'll go ahead and start off with that. I'm excited to get back into my um Spearmaster playthrough. It's a deck builder. I do like deck builders. I feel like a lot of the deck builders end up falling short though. Unfortunately, I think it's a roguelike. Well, well, we'll see. I don't want to go buying like a bunch of uh, games necessarily unless they're like two dollar range. Got to got to be careful with the the old wallet and whatnot. But other than that, I'm, I'm pretty much game for anything. All right, it's time time for a little bit of downpour. Cycle thirty four with our spearmaster. I've been getting lost as Spearmaster a little bit, but I have a decent idea on where to go at this point. Um, I want to go, like, up left, I think. Game's a little bit quiet for me. I'm going to turn it up. Actually, Be Breach Wanderers is free on mobile. I don't know what it is on Steam. I actually don't have the ability to turn it up. Frick. Let me know if it's really quiet or if it's just a little quiet. So yeah, down is not going to work. I think we want to go up and left, right? This whole zone is uh, is pretty awkward to navigate. Um, trying to find a spot I haven't been. This is a rather large area, as it turns out. Very large area, my goodness. I, the, come on, remember the map faster, you dingus. Spearmaster with this freaking slow-ass memory. Look at this. Look at this. Look at what I'm having to deal with. Good lord. This is a hell of a map. Uh, you know, that looks pretty good. I don't even remember where I am on this map. Where am I? Uh, that, that looks right. I'm- I'm just gonna go left. Just- just, just left. Okay. Spearmaster used all their energy making spears, I guess. No energy for brain. Perfect. How helpful is that? What's up? I did get a phone call from someone. Oh, maybe. Okay, so I know over there is a dead end. I, th I think Michaela was getting a package and I just ignored it. Whoopsie. All right. How's that? How are you doing today, by the way, Drive and, and Nick? How how are you doing? What what have you been up to as of late? I'm really excited about making uh, coming in close on the the top two hundred worldwide in Mechabellum. I feel like I've I've really I, I I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do it. I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to like match players that have been playing for months uh in any reasonable amount of time. I thought for sure that I was just going to fall short at a certain point. And may, maybe we still will. 
but um, I'm already kind of surpassing my own self-doubt uh, with, with where I'm at in that game, which is really cool. You're doing swell. Just finished up work uh, a few ago. Very nice. Always nice to complete a, a work sesh. That's some nice progress. I was lurking last night, and you just cracked 1k before... Uh, before the end. Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, just around... Uh, or just before the stream started, I, I cracked 1k. I was... Uh, that that was last night, I believe. I've been uh, working toward it for a, a while. But, uh, yeah, I, I hit, like, a major roadblock at around, uh, I want to say, like, 1,200 MMR. I Around, like, 16,000 combat power. I was really struggling to, to get going. But um, all of a sudden, things just started to click again. And, uh, yeah, it's working really well. Uh, did you figure it out, Michaela? Oh, nice. Well, that's good. This is a good place for eating, by the way. So we should try to gather some food up here if we can. I should be safe from the rain in here. Okay. Food-wise is good. But yeah, it's it's funny because when I played um, Super Auto Pets... How you doing there, Solar? Good morning. I heard it's raining. Yeah, it's raining in game and in real life. There was like a crazy thunder crack that, like, it, it sounded like a freaking explosion went off this morning. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, as I was as I was saying, in Super Auto Pets, the like some of the best players were always saying like, "Oh yeah, you're you're like a top four player or something." It's like uh, I really don't feel that way. <laughs> I don't feel that good at this game. It feels like I just kind of win sometimes because I RNG better than other people. And uh, that was one of the things that always bugged me about that game was, despite me being good, I never felt good. And uh, in... In Mechabellum, I actually... F like, the, the, the RNG is minimal enough in that game where, uh, you know, you, you have... You just know. You know when you're you're good. To some degree. And I, I don't think I'm necessarily great yet. But I, I do think that I am... Uh, like, fast approaching way, way better than average. Which is nice. It's, it's a good feeling. I like to strive for that goodness when I can in video games. But yeah, I'm hoping that I'm, I'm ready for the tournament. Which should be coming up... Uh, very soon. I, I think this next week is when it's going to start. And, uh, I don't know whether I'll stream it or just record it. M one of the two, I think. I do in there, Nightingale. Welcome on in. And Spike Ice as well. Hello, hello. All the folks showing up. Solar, what have you been up to as of late? What have you been doing? You you just been streaming some, some various stuff with Violet? There we go. Suffering. Oh, fun. Let's see if we can run over this way. Hey, it's the funny room. The funny room that has almost no purpose other than to be funny, I guess. Your neck feels like it's broken at the moment. I've been there where, like, sometimes my neck feels absolutely terrible. Um, I, I guess my only advice would be uh, make sure you're getting sunlight. It's, it sounds like uh, nothing advice, but I, I've definitely had it where I, I like was vitamin D deficient and I, it, my whole everything just felt like broken glass. It was, that is, that is the feeling. How you doing, Entropy? Welcome on in. Uh, yeah, my back, I will never forget the sensation that my back had where it, it literally felt like it was made of broken glass. It was, it was kind of the worst. Kind of the freaking worst. There's a lot of little guys in here, huh? Most peculiar. Um... I wonder if... She opened up, like, a, a path for me, Moon? Ooh, that's a something really good and a YouTube link. What could it mean, chat? What could it mean? Let's go ahead and click on it and find out. Some guys have all the luck. I was born with glass bones and paper skin. 
Every morning I break my legs, and every afternoon I break my arms. Yeah. At night, I lie awake in agony until my heart attacks <laughs> me to sleep. Oh, no. No. Literally me. Thank you. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, 555 of Entropy, for, for gifting the subscription to Solar there. I appreciate that a lot. Solar now gets to enjoy the, the hilarious emotes that we have. Thank you so much there, Entropy. We're forcefully conscripting in Solar. How you doing, Violet? Welcome on in. So Space Engineers, that's the one with the funny singing, right? You can you can sing in that one. That's that's the main thing I know it for. Is that it's got really goofy singing. Which I'm a fan of. Ah, I'm flying away. No. Okay. Just just ruin that a little bit. Please. Okay, we're, we're just gonna grab on. We're good. You can sing in it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Isn't that the one where it, you it's got like a Microsoft Sam voice in the chat and you can program it to sing? Is am I thinking of a different one? I could have swore that was a thing in that game. It's not. Which space game is the one where they sing? Which one am I thinking of? Pretty sure, yeah, she's down there. So I guess we'll go back up. Space Station Alpha! That's probably the one I'm thinking of. That is probably the one I'm thinking of, Space Jam. I don't think I'm thinking of Space Jam. How do you think Space Jam would be different from Normal Jam? I'm assuming that Jam would interact in space very similarly to how it does in, in like, on, on Earth. But maybe if it were made in space. Less gravity? Yeah, that's true. Space Jam is made out of space? Oh, I see. So it's like a dark matter... It's a dark matter jam. I don't know how you'd like squish up the dark matter to, to be like that, though. Okay. Alright. Uh. Isn't jam made mostly out of water? Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of water, but I'm I'm pretty sure jam's mostly made out of like fruit, right? Water in space freezes. Oh man, speaking of things and water freezing, we we tried making uh, some some chocolate milkshakes with some vanilla ice cream and uh, chocolate ice cream and uh, like a little bit of milk. It uh, it didn't really work. I was a little disappointed. It's a little sad that it didn't work. Can I go this way now? No. Is is this like an alternate path that I, I don't have unlocked? Space Jam equals gelatinous cube? It probably could end up being like that. You're not wrong. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. There's the the ancients having sex right there. That's that's what that one is. How you doing, Wito? There's the ancients. Uh, I don't know what they're doing there. Birthday! Oh, snap! Two years flew by. You were the first streamer I started watching. That's amazing. And comfortable slug cat gaming. Oh my god. Cool Ranch, thank you so much for the 24 months sticking with me this whole time. The, the two dang years. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy how time flies, and I, I appreciate everybody who, who sticks with me. Uh, and and, and the, hopefully I, I continue to be as, as entertaining as it was the day you found me. <laughs> That's definitely a hope of mine. Uh, whether I accomplish that, I don't know. But th thank you so much, Cool Ranch, for this, the extended support. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm glad you've been enjoying the gaming. What are these accidental crazy moves? That was really weird. Even more. Perfect. Perfect. And ho hopefully uh, people don't mind my, my stint into Mechabellum. I think, I think I'm going to go and get, like, rank 1... Do some crazy shit, and then I'm I'm probably gonna move on to my next game. That that's that's probably my plan. Hello, tired. We to we to tired. We we to tired. 
Do we have a Wito tired emote yet? Wito EP maybe? I could see that working. Uh let's let's have some popcorn. There we go. Easy, easy popcorn. That that one works. That that I feel like that that fits the same purpose. Oh snap. <laughs> okay. Dude, I love the backgrounds in this game. They're so pretty. I feel like I'm taking a very inefficient path to where I want to go, but we're we're going there anyway. I should uh I should stop mashing A like a like a dumb idiot. Alright, welcome to uh this place. Oh god, my bones. Okay, that's that's fine. We got we got some yellow lizards here just chilling. I don't think we found everything we needed to around Moon, but that's okay. We'll we'll carry on for now. Those guys are gonna go Ah Nope. Ow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, the lizards do be just kind of yeeting themselves. Interesting. I'm surprised I'm alive. I did not expect there to be like a safe spot here. That worked out surprisingly well. Okay. We're almost back up. Am I going to be able to make this climb? This looks doable. I just hope the the lizard doesn't figure it out. Is this a this I feel like I'm dead. I feel pretty freaking dead. Like look at all these. Oh hi. Oh man. Okay. Oh man. No. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. It's another screen down here. Thank goodness. All according to plan. It looks like this goes down even further. Interested to see what's down here. Wow, so there, there's like just a bunch of different pathways down. That's cool. I love the the way it looks when I'm rolling with the double spear. It looks really goofy. That was like the worst backflip. But these backflips are terrible. Some truly terrible backflips. There we go. Alright. Back to zero G technology. Let's jump on down here. Anybody looking forward to, to any games right now? I feel like Baldur's Gate is... Is it coming out this month? I feel like it's coming out this month. I am not at all prepared. I gotta, I gotta like, figure out what I'm gonna do. What's, what's the most OP class in, uh... In, in in that game. I don't know. I feel like a summoner would probably be really broken cuz more turns are good. You've been battle bidding uh, lately? That one's uh I, my, a couple of my friends play that one actually. What what is that one? I, I I see them playing it. I don't know what it is. Oh, right, that's the the battlefield, but it's Roblox. Yeah, I remember now. Or be better battlefield. Yeah. I remember. I remember now. Yeah, I'm not much of a battlefield guy. I feel like, um, I don't know. I'm not uh, if I'm gonna like run around for a bunch of minutes and then get shot, uh, and die instantly. I'd I'd rather just play uh, like a PUBG or something. Although I, I haven't played PUBG in quite a long time, it's fun. Yeah, I've I've heard good things. Okay, I'm accidentally shooting things. Are they mad at me? They don't look mad. They don't look too upset. I feel like I'm I'm backtracking in a really bad way. It's already being ruined by people who know life it. I mean, why don't you just know life, Wito? J just pick something to know life. You still play some PUBG? Uh, quite a bit has changed, has it? I feel like it's got to be tough to keep up with, like, an Apex Le Legends. Will you pay my bills? Uh, I cannot do that, because I can barely pay my own bills. Because I'm busy no-lifing, Wito. 
I'm, I'm trying to l no like video games so I can be the best in the world at them for a couple months and then move on to whatever next. Whatever is next. That reminds me, I gotta I gotta do some more speedruns. Play with random voice guy on we uh random voice guy on weekend mornings. That's awesome. Uh okay, we we do have enough food, but it would be nice to have more. Do I wanna just rest? I think I do. I think that's the correct play. We'll do a little rest arena. Oops. I really want these to be like crammed into the walls so that way I don't have to count them as spears. <laughs> like how his little arms just like adjust to the different spears. The the inverse kinematics in this game are extremely impressive. They are uh like the the way they have them is just incredibly clever. Like they 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 just it's so natural, you know? Very interesting. Okay, so we're gonna drop on down here. Beautiful. Ooh. I feel like I've been here. The the music getting louder is really making this room feel important, isn't it? Oh, I know where I am. This is like right next to Moon. Yeah. No wonder this place seems so important. It, it's because it is... Okay. Got places to be. Sadly, I didn't really snipe any of these things. Would have been nice to murder a couple of them. But we'll just carry on for now. This, uh, that big entrance room there reminds me a lot of the, um, the cow room in, um, in Creator Crate. Which is weird. I would never have expected Rain World to remind me of Creator Crate. But it did. A little bit of this. Perfect. Ooh. That's a lot of snacks. If I can get over there in time. Oh! I was really hoping to get, like, the, the perfect snipe on all of them. I think we're gonna wait for them to fall on the ground, and then we'll, uh, we'll try to shoot them all on the ground. There we go. There we go. You know what game I downloaded recently, chat? I, I re-downloaded Team Fortress 2 for the first time since, like, 2019. And, uh, I struggled. It was, it was hard. There, there was like a, there was no scout on my team, so I'm just like, alright, I'll go scout. I, I play a little bit of everything in Team Fortress. But, um, you know, sc scout's like a, a pretty skill-heavy class. You gotta have good aim and good movement. And, uh, it was, it was tough. I definitely struggled. Where the, where the hole at? I, I missed it. Missed it. It's right over here. Wow, we've got another resting point already. Do one of these. Wow, that missed somehow entirely. I don't know if I ever found this spot. It doesn't look like I did. Okay. We're doing all right on food. Definitely could be doing better. Yeah, I'm fairly certain I never found this room for whatever reason. Throw the spear into the wall, you frick. It's so annoying when they they fail to get the spear stuck in the wall. Okay, so it looks like I'm missing a green and a red from this area. Can never go wrong with Pyro. I love the Pyro. Pyro is my favorite class. Which is, like, probably something I shouldn't admit. <laughs> probably gonna... Uh, Cruelty Squad soon is that game. Uh, not safe for stream. Um, no, it's it's safe for stream, I think. WM1. No, I'm, I'm more of like a combo pyro. I, I like to degreaser plus um, extinguisher plus the the traditional flare gun for the, the crit. You just like blast, you, you set them on fire, you blast them into the wall, you, you quick swap to your flare gun. You, you blast them with the flare gun, then you quick swap to the extinguisher and it's like an instant kill. 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not a degen. Well, I am. But I'm just a different kind of degen pyro. Hi, you guys are upset at me, aren't you? Yeah, they're throwing shit at me. They're they're upset. Ah. No. Like on me. Oh, I'm getting killed to death for sure. Leave me alone. You're a big fan of the M2 on, on default, uh, but you haven't played it in a very long time. I, I feel like the M2 is just better with Degreaser, personally. Yeah, the, the Air Blast is just better on the Degreaser because you can swap. Uh, the, the Reserve Shooter is also bullshit. Reserve Shooter into... Or Air Blast into Reserve Shooter is such a dumb combo. Why they made that allowed... I don't know how you doing, Splata. Yeah, so the the game plan is is we're we're gonna do some Rain World, then some. Uh, actually, are, are you normally here for the end of the stream? Because if you're here mostly for the middle, I guess we could do Heroes Hour after some Rain World, and then we'll do Mechabellum to close. We'll just do a, a longer Mechabellum session. I, I'll have you know that I, I have not completed the tutorial in Heroes Hour. I kind of know what's going on. But I'm I'm still pretty unsavvy, so you're not gonna, you're not going to see any expert gameplay yet. I really have a, a lot to learn in that game still. But I've I've been super grinding Mechabellum right now, so I don't really have too much time for other games currently. But when the time is right, I'm sure I'll be able to get around to Heroes Hour. Some more of that. Run on over this away. Ah, these little things are. Flooping all over the place. Okay. Let's do one of these. Ha! Ah! Is this the way I was trying to go? I think this is the way I was trying to go. Yeah. The tutorial could be quite good. I died while trying to understand uh, what it was telling me. And uh, been waiting for you to play it. Hopefully it makes more sense. Okay, yeah, we can do the tutorial. That's fine by me. I understand, like, some of the basics based on the, the tutorial, but, um, I definitely didn't go, uh, I, I didn't do the tutorial word for word what they said, because I'm like, oh man, what if I take this little extra advantage here while I'm in the tutorial, and it's like, you really shouldn't do that, you should just do what the video game tells you, I think, but I guess that, if, if that's how you have fun, okay, let's get up here, I guess. There we are. Am I gonna pass by Sky Islands? Uh, I don't know where I'm gonna end up on this playthrough, honestly. I'm just gonna kinda go for it, Quoprin. But I, I do plan on getting all of the messages for Spearmaster, and I imagine that Sky Islands has messages for my cat, so I'm, I'm definitely planning to head that way. There we go. Does Rain World have multiplayer? Yes, it does. It's got, um... Co-op, and it's got PvP. And I think there's even, uh, like a Battle Royale-style mod. Where it's, it's like a 16-player arena. Which is very cool. That sounds pretty difficult, for sure. Where... It's kind of insane how there's there's so many games where it's just like, oh yeah, it can support up to like 128 people. Does it have MMO 32 player co-op? Honestly, I wouldn't put it out of the question because the modding community for this game is very similar to Noita in that it's uh, just clinically insane. And they, they just, they're like, oh yeah, we're just going to make it. We're just, it's just going to exist. You're free. Welcome back in, Vladis. How you doing? still continuing to be free there's a mod for online multiplayer now um you mean like non couch co-op i i don't know if that exists yet i am not sure i've i've seen people do 16 player uh pvp arena style i don't know exactly how that translates what is going on over here that's really peculiar also, how you doing, Caluresis? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. If you ever get some spare time, Caluresis, you should definitely pick up Mechabellum. I think you're going to be like a total monster at that game. Uh, in Rain World? Yeah, in Rain World. In game. What's this room all about? 
Uh, looks like I've kind of been up this way. Hmm. This this looks like it might be leading to something. Oof. The anti grav wore out. <laughs> yeah. That's a good jump. Did you know the downpour, uh, that all the downpour slug cats started as mods? Yeah, downpour in general is like mostly modded content converted into something more digestible for the normies, such as myself. Which is great. It's it's awesome that they were able to monetize so many fantastic features that people have come up with. It makes a lot of sense. And it's awesome that they were able to incorporate it all into the lore so cleanly. That That's a thing that I really like about it as well. Because um, this game has cool lore. What the fricky heck? What the frickety heck is this? Ah! How am I going to sleep in here? I'm going to get a freaking tan. We're making some progress. This is nice. At least it feels like we're making progress. There we go. Not too shabby. I was hoping to find some more areas. I don't know if I want to go this way yet. I don't know where this takes me. Maybe I should look around more first? I don't know. We should, we should see if this even leads anywhere. This this might be where we come back to, but I'd, I'd like to find some more secrets. Yeah, so I, I can go that way pretty freely. I like the purple cat. Uh, can you buy a game in Star Purple, or is it Secret 120th Win Unlock? Uh, as soon as you have Downpour Splatter, you can uh, recolor your cats. Uh, if, if you're specifically interested in Spear Master, you need to complete a couple runs. Or you can just use the the cheat function to unlock it by default, which is also a valid option. How you doing, Nutty? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. How am I doing? I'm doing well. Uh, I'm I'm not sure if I've I've seen you since my my little Noita hiatus, but um, I've I've just been spending a lot of time playing other games and enjoying myself and just just chilling. And um, yeah, I'm also. Closing in on uh, rank one for Mechabellum. We're, we're, we're nearly into top 200, which is cool. Uh, cheaters didn't earn it. It takes away uh, from the meaning. Listen, if, if people are wanting to like skip to the DLC cats because they're more exciting than the vanilla cats, then I think that's fine. But I, I also think it's like... You know, if, if you start off with Dark Souls 3, you're not going to appreciate Dark Souls 1 as much. So, you know, doing the cats in order makes a lot of sense. But not everybody has that amount of time. Can you stand up? What is this, like, ridiculous freaking forward position? Uh, I'm, I'm getting lights flickering. There's a, there's a not unreasonable chance of a power outage happening because there's, like, a crazy storm going on. I don't know if anybody saw that. This is really pretty looking. What the frick? Get me out there. Can I go out this way? I unlocked... Uh, oh, I, unra I unlocked Spearmaster Pog. Why is it so pretty over here? That looks like Void. That looks like Void Liquid out there. What the fuck is going on? Oh, God. That's not good. That's really not good. So Void Liquid is, is like piped through tubes directly to the ancients house houses so they can die so if the if the world if the tubes spring a leak that's really bad you want to see me suffer through the saint saint is is on the list don't you worry there quote and i'll get there hunter is still your second favorite hunter's legit hunter feels like a a dlc cat while also being like a, a not that at all it, moon is peeing. Oh god. The lore. The 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 deep lore. The lore nobody wanted to know. I love this song by the way. This is this is one of my favorites. It's ve it's very melancholic. Let me jump back up here, I guess. And we've got not too many. I, I think this goes to the same place. 
Why did it spring a leak? I don't know. We don't know yet. But it does have some pretty significant lore implications. My commander gave me an opportunity to obtain a tan a week before getting free. <laughs> what the? Are you saying that he was, uh, he forced you to, like, work outside in the sun, Vladas? Rain world more like pain world. My, I don't have too much pain with the rain world, but true cyano, true. How you doing? Uh, did I break it? No, I definitely didn't break moon. Okay, there's one more path to take, and that's this one up here. I want to see where this leads. Is this just like a dumb little path that I could have taken at some point? Or is this another area that I haven't done? When in doubt, it's five piece fault. Exactly. Five, it's probably five pebbles fault. Let's be honest. Five pebbles is a bit of a jerk. Uh oh. Um, okay, we're fine. Have I been here? I have been here. Looks like I haven't been up this way, though. Have I been up this way? No. Okay, cool. I'm just looking for any, uh, any secrets that I've missed. So hopefully we can find it, uh, one or two of those. Come on. Get, get, get over there. That's a little scary. Alright. I find I, I really struggle with movement on this cat in particular. It's weird. Like, certain movements just don't work properly for me. Oh, Nelly. This is a little bit spooky. Alright. Let's just run over this way. Try to get a little bit of extra speed while we're at it. I feel like I've seen this formation before quite a lot. I'm hoping to... Oh, what the fricky is going on up here? Is this not terrifying? Oh, God! What have I found? This room is scary as fuck. It feels like there's no background here. What's happening here? Oh, my. What is happening in this room? Okay. This is like the... The... What is happening here? It's, it's just like a big open room. There's gotta be something here, right? There's this cube in the middle. Hmm... Trying to see if there's a way into the cube. Okay. Just kind of floating. If I run over this way. What is this room? How you doing there, base? Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Where the hecky am I? More like a square. I mean, yeah, I guess it is a square and not a cube. Oh, good. We've got anti-gravity in this room. Wee. What is the purpose of this space? There's gotta be a reason to be here, right? I would imagine. That's a nice little skip. Saves us a little bit of time. Base, how many cats have you completed at this point? Also, have you started on that mobile game? I'm interested to to see how that works out for you. I, I feel like while phone gaming is is really outside of um, you know, I I feel like a, a normal gamer doesn't really do a ton of phone gaming a lot of the time. I mean, maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe they do, but I've I've never been much of a phone gamer. But I, I do recognize it is like the biggest market. Only Survivor started Hunter, but wanted to record and didn't have uh, much incentive to do that, really. I feel like, um... Rainworld videos do really well. There's two kinds of Rainworld videos that do really well. There's, like, extremely long ones, and then there's, like, 30-second videos. And anywhere in between seems to struggle quite a bit. It's, it's quite peculiar. 
I, I guess it's because Rain World community really likes memes and they really like to fall asleep to Rain World. I, I think that's probably the answer. Um, oh, Vlad has said, uh, how much did I miss uh, in a year of not watching your streams, Alias? A lot. So much. So many crazy things in Noita. Uh, there, there's like true Noita PvP. and it, I mean, if, if you go take a look at the VOD channel or the, uh, the YouTube channel, you'll see some of the highlights. For sure. Um, but yeah, the, the, so many challenge runs and so many like ridiculous fun things and discoveries and uh, yeah. Also, Anani says uh, he no longer plays Noita. He's an auto battler competitor and he streams Rain World now. That's that's not true. Just because I'm taking a hiatus from Noita doesn't mean I'm going to go back. Like I'm I'm going to go back to Noita. That said, I w I would like to make it so Noita runs better before I go back to it, so I might, like, delete all of my mods or something. Because, uh, yeah, that, it, it kind of just barely runs for me at all at this point. Which is very annoying. It's, it sucks super hard to have your favorite video game not run very well. Everyone unmodded, Noita deleted, what? How do I do this? There's got to be a way to do this, right? Got to use that the anti gravity somehow. I guess we'll just wait. We'll just wait for the gravity to come back. Any moment now. Got to learn the the stand up super jump tech. I wish I knew how to do it. Your descriptions. I don't I don't know. It seems seems like you're you're misleading people there a little bit, Anani. Seems like you're uh you're doing a little trolling. Bruh, the gravity in this room lasted forever. Okay, I'm up here now. Can I get out of this hole? No! Why? <laughs> Check out how long you have left in the cycle. If it's rain time, power uh, in moon stays off. Ah, yeah, it is off. Okay. Um, in that case, Miro's vultures are really scary. They sure are. Okay. That works. Get off of the spear and stand upright like a normal cat. Okay, I need to do a, a backflip. I don't know if I can do a, a backflip. Oh, come on. Please get lodged into the, the metal. Damn it. You know, I, I can probably just make this jump, right? Frick. <laughs> okay. I guess we're going down. That is the new play. We will head down instead. Not entirely certain where we're headed yet, but we'll find out. That's interesting that at, uh, it, like, during the rain, the, uh, the power just goes down. Okay. Do we want to go left or right? It looks like... Where does right lead? This is a new area. I really gotta fix my sound effects to not play a million sound effects. Where does Spearmaster sit in the timeline? Is it pretty early? I can't recall. But it must be early because it's before Moon and Five Pebbles are... Five, moon is, is still intact, and Five Pebbles is being a shit, so. I would assume that it must be quite early on, based on that alone. Uh, and also shout yourself out. Yeah, it shouts out. <laughs> My sound effects is so broken. I, I think it was while I was doing some dumb stuff. 
five pebbles is always being a shit. That's true. You're not wrong. I don't really know where to go. I don't really have a super great option. What's the goal of the game? Leave the planet? Uh, normally it's to die. That, that tends to be the thing. Watch some Rain World videos because dopamine and really wish I hadn't. The lore goes deep. Yeah, I, I'm uh, I'm still pretty blind on it, thankfully. I, I, I go back and like watch the videos of the characters that I've done. The goal is die, can't you just get eaten? No, because you come back to life then. You need you need to find a way to die without coming back to life. Which is why, um Oh hey, it's this guy. Do we want to just die to this dude? Or are we close to the resting point that we are trying to get to? I'm trying to get to this resting point, so I need to climb up. Let's see, I need to go down here. And then up here. Which is a bit of a trek. I, uh, I love throwing bombs at five pebbles, uh, but he always kills you. <laughs> uh, that sounds about right. That sounds like a five pebbles move. You just gotta bring uh, a bigger weaponry. You gotta bring a singularity bomb. Or a leviathan. You could theoretically bring a leviathan if you did it right. There's a glitch where if you put like a... If you attach a bat fly to a spear, you can then use that spear to teleport the creature to you somehow. There's like, there's like a whole glitch around it where you can like transfer creatures. I thought I was being smart going up the, the wall with, uh, into Five Pebbles to explore more, but Five Pebbles just tells me to leave and kills me when I don't. <laughs> uh, which which playthrough was that on? Wall, wall is uh, so efficient compared to Underpass. Survivor. It, it, he killed you on Survivor? What the heck? I've never had 5P kill me on Survivor. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> He implores you to leave when you come back. Oh, I got you. I seem to recall that now. Okay. I apologize for the sneezing in chat. Holy moly, those were some evil sneezes. Leviathans can swim in anti-gravity, can they? I've never seen that. That sounds really cool. That sounds extremely interesting. That was a sick backflip that I did not intend to do. Which somehow... They, that's that's very Rain World. It's like, oh, how'd I do that? The answer? I don't know. You push the buttons real good by accident. Okay. Frick. Frickety heck. We're, we're making our way. I think we'll jump into this next area. And then we'll we'll move on to some Heroes Hour. We'll, we'll reorganize the stream a little bit, and Mecha Bellum will be the last thing that we do. The Schmoobin tech in this game is crazy, though. You can literally fly if you, like, waggle back and forth fast enough. It's it's TAS only, as far as I've seen. I've never seen a human do it, but... Um, that's still absurd. That you can... It, it, you can just literally fly if you're technical enough. Although, I don't think anyone is. I guess you could probably get, like, a turbo controller, or, like, a... Like, an a, an input, uh... Bind. Yeah, macro. To do it. How do you feel about macros? I, I personally think that it's... It, it, like, it, depending on the situation, it's really cool. Like, for demonstration purposes. But it can't be taken as, like, this is, like, the official thing. Or just letting AI do it. I mean... Maybe? Yesterday you cracked top 1k, and now you're near top 100, top 200. How much, uh... You play Mechabellum? 
I I got to top uh, 200 on stream, or nearly top 200 on stream, Suicider. I I went on a huge win streak. I played maybe like three or four games off stream since then. So it's it's genuinely just we're 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 we had like a banger day. We played real well. And to be honest, I didn't play real well initially, but later in the day, things started to go well. What is the secret to my success? Um, just, just an extremely obsessive personality and a lot of spare time and a deep-seated desire to, to feel like I've, I've done something right in my life. <laughs> no, not a meth, Igusius. That that's a that's a red overseer from Seven Red Suns. Does difficulty change uh, with time of day or uh, day of the week? No, not at all. No, there's n there's no cocaine involved. No cocaine whatsoever. What's uh, Seven Red Suns? Don't answer if that's spoilers. Um, they. Do you know anything at all about? This character about Spearmaster? Very little. It's it's like an open... It, you would learn about Seven Red Suns at the very start of the playthrough. How you doing, Dexter? Welcome on in. How are you today? I think we'll rest right away. Yeah, yeah. I, I won't say any more than that. But... You could infer, based off what the other observers mean, what that means, if you wanted to think about it a little bit. <clears throat> Hello, decent learned. Uh, I have a lot fewer vacation hours than uh, you thought through HR. Because Oh, wait, because HR made a mistake. Wait, you, had, you have a lot fewer vacation hours than you thought because HR made a mistake. Uh, hopefully you get those vacation hours. You have a solid guess? You're probably right, so that's bleh. Hopefully they, uh, they can fix that somehow. Uh, since you were outside, you can check out what that leak was outside. I doubt it's gonna be around here. The world is so vast. Probably not, because I shouldn't have them. <laughs> oh god. It's one of those, huh? Oh no, I missed. Got him. Isn't it funny when creatures don't do what they're supposed to do? Okay, let's run on over this way and down here. Where am I going? I don't entirely know where I am, but this this is very wall-esque. I'm gonna do this the dumb way. Like this. Whee! Probably shouldn't have done that. Eating with spears is fun. It's pretty goofy. Guess we're going this way. Sometimes creatures just have a bad day and get wrecked, uh, little noobs because of it. That, that, uh, that bug did not stand a chance, that's for certain. Okay, we got lizards. Ah! Ah! Let go of me! Let go of me, please. <laughs> Let go of me, you little shit! All right. I'm pretty sure he's stuck to the wall. We got we got more friends. Okay. That's another one. What does the wacky flailing bug do? They're observers. Is this guy still alive? I don't think he is. Pretty sure he's he's giga dead. I'm surprised that white lizard managed to dislodge themselves from the wall. I've never seen that happen before. Normally when you pin a creature it's stuck for good. Until you unstick them. I can I I, I can only eat them by spearing them. What is this region? Ooh, okay. Let's grab our popcorn. 
This is different. This is different. Okay. What do we have down this way? Oh, I don't like the look of this at all. Two observers? There can be many observers. The precipice. Cool. Yeah, so the yellow observers are from moon. And the... Are they from moon? No, these these ones are from... Uh, five pebbles. And the blue observers are from moon and the red observers are from seven red suns okay a little bit scary here we go it's happening he, he wants some fuck you'll get it you are nothing but food to me Are they just leaving immediately? They're giving up? Are they? Oh no. Okay. These guys are really funny because they've got like two different uh, modes of travel. They can like, they, they've got like a weird walk and then they've got their flight and they can alternate between the two. It's pretty unique. Pretty darn cool. Hmm. Hmm. Precipice seems pretty cool so far. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! It's Big Brother. Okay. I don't really want to have to kill a King Vulture. How you doing, Horatio? Welcome on in. I was trying to get, like, a... All right. He's really easy, is he? Kill both. I mean, they they always run away anyway. Whoops! I just killed that observer. <laughs> that's. I mean, that's good trade material if I want to go get it, but I don't really feel like it. It's not really that helpful. I can just trade a million spears if I really want. Okay. Got him. What does killing an observer do? It means there's one less observer to observe you. Sometimes they'll... Uh, they, it, it can take a really long time for more observers to spawn. So it's not a good idea to kill them. Okay. Looking good. Should probably stab this guy. Maybe. That's a hell of a jump. That I'm gonna have to make. Alright. Oh no. Hmm. That's my spear. Okay. Oh, jeez. This guy's being a real problem. There we go. There's one stab. I'm gonna need a couple more than that, though. Where do you think you're going, mister? There we go. That'll probably do him in. Oh, good. King Vulture. Good timing. This is a really scary jump to have to make with the vultures everywhere. This is this is very awkward. Come on. Work with me here, bud. We're running out of time. Okay. Just just blast them. Our observer is finite, not really. I don't really know if I can make this jump. I'll try. Okay. We did manage to make the jump. We're running low on daylight, so I just kind of had to go for it. If you're wondering why I threw my spears during that, it's because you get extra momentum from your uh, from your spear throw. 
Okay, this is a drop down spot. And this is getting really bad. Got to just drop down and hope. Yep. Okay. We're wherever we're going, we're almost there hopefully. I don't need fruit. I'm I'm full on food. This is getting really bad. Running very low on time. Go down. What about over here? Hello? Pardon me. Oh my god. True disaster. You better get flying. Come on. Oh my god. This is really bad. We're, we're going to die because we didn't find the stupid... Why does this always happen to me? That's just a cliff. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why? I went so far. You know for certain that I just happened to miss whatever save point there was around there, right? Like, there, there's no way. I, I covered so much map and I just missed wherever the, the stupid thing was. That was super unfortunate. I was zooming. Like I said, I cleared a ton there. That's pretty unlucky. Now you know where not to go. That's true. Okay, let's let's grab one more. Uh, let's grab one more save point, and then we'll um, we'll swap over to some heroes hour, and then we'll go from there. Okay, let's make sure that we we're eating. It's important to eat as a scug. Little slug kitty cat. I like how all the cats are so, uh, so beloved. Did you know that the original design of the, the slug cats, they, they were originally meant to be called the uh, ghost bears? But the community decided, no, they look more like slug cats. It's pretty funny. Pretty funny how that worked out. And I guess if you look at Survivor, it does look like a ghost bear because of the color, right? Kind of an interesting thing to think about. We could be playing as ghost bears instead. You really want to do this, huh? Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh, I should just use a rock. I really should. He's he's going to just take me straight to his den, isn't he? Yep, yeah, that's a, that's an instant death. Wow. It's rare that I just lose to a single white lizard. That's pretty bad. Pretty ungood right there. Got a new flashlight and proved uh today and proved I'm not the brightest. Wow. Unbelievable dumb. Unbelievable. Do a little bit of that. Don't you know how to slide spear him? I do know how to slide spear him, but I was on very uneven ground. So I, I didn't think that a slide spear would work from that approach. Hi. Alright. Pretty sure that guy's just dead now. Just carry on. Whoops, I missed. We did bonk him on the head, which discombobulated him a little bit. He's got lots of background to work with here, which is annoying. Okay. There we go. These guys just die in one hit. Thankfully. Spearmaster hits pretty hard. What is the purpose of going down here? I don't understand. Sometimes this game has, like, really weird spots where it's like, why would I ever go here? And that's definitely one of those. Can I go up here? Doesn't look like it. I really gotta work on my sliding on this character. 
I feel like my slides are just not very good on them a lot of the time. Now we're getting them a little more consistent. Okay. Back to the precipice. The very spooky place. I was using a lot of spear jumps through here. Seeing a task clear this area would be fucking cool, by the way. There's some really interesting movement tech you can do on these things. If you, like, perfectly tap A... Oh, hi. Are we doing this? I guess we're doing this. I think I, think I got him there. <laughs> I think he just... He got one right in the gullet. And he flew off the cliff. Works for me. Oh, here he is. He didn't quite fly off the cliff. No! <laughs> Rest in peace. He just kind of cliffed himself. It's okay. He'll he'll respond next cycle. He'll be fine. I don't think I'm going to do too much pearl collecting on this character. Look at... Look down underneath. There's a... One of the bugs set up there. Why would it set up there? Nothing's gonna... He's gonna, like, drop shot me from, like, a billion screens away in the future or something goofy. Okay. So it looks like he wants me to go right, maybe. I'm pretty sure I went left last time. Oh, hi. Hello. Alright. Oh! Oh! Just, uh, how many fucking king vultures do we need, exactly? That is the question. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh, oh my god. Ha, <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Alright. There's no way they snipe me from here, right? Oh my god. Why are they just camping me? This is wild. I probably don't need fresh spears for this. Okay. Shmove it! I guess there's a... No, 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 no. Yeah, get the, get the blizzard. No? He's, he's waiting on this angle. He's holding it. Like a frickin' CS pro. Look at him. Okay. What's this way? Aha! Yeah, we're, we're gonna just hang out in here, I guess. What? 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 That's allowed? <laughs> I thought they weren't allowed to do that. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I thought they weren't allowed to attack in shelters. I was kind and didn't instantly murder it, and now he's just chomping on me. How you doing, JT? Um... We might be okay. He's spinning me. We're we're in the spin cycle. JT. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's he doing to me? <sighs> I'm well. The the runs are good. Been enjoying some Rain World today. And later on, we're gonna be doing some Heroes Hour, and then after that, we'll we'll try to. That that thing could have set me free, frick. Oh no. I guess we kind of know where we are. This is enjoying Rain World. Yes. Stop flinging me around. I'm still alive, by the way. I'm confident that I can I can get out of this. Please let me go. We, ju we just need any other creature to interact. Or maybe he just, like, gets me through a wall like that. Maybe that would work, too. Let me go. Let me go. One time you slept while inside a lizard mouth and woke up outside this shelter night nice cycle? That's really weird. Okay, where are we going now? Yes! Yes! Get him. Bite him. 
the blue lizard's gonna like cliff us both somehow, I feel like. <laughs> That's... Where are we going? Oh my god, he's just limit flinging me around. You know, if uh, you get eaten, whatever ate you becomes the messenger. <laughs> Have to play the rest of the game as the, the blue lizard. Let me go, lizard. Let me go. He's trolling me so hard. I feel like this den is like right there. Nope. Oh my god. Okay, he found it, man. I'm, I'm dead for real now. <sighs> okay. Bright side, we know where to go. Downside, we just lost like five minutes watching that lizard play with our corpse. But you know how it is. You know how it be. My goodness, that was quite the, the high jump. Bruh. Bruh. How you doing, Jesus? Welcome back on in. Uh, hey, my guy. Sorry I ended up not coming back yesterday. Oh, no worries. Uh, how how goes it today? It's going well. Enjoying some Rain World to start off. Yesterday ended up being quite the eventful stream. It's the first stream since my birthday stream that I've had um, over 75 average viewers uh, in, a, in a long time. Like, obviously, I, I, I used to hit those numbers all the time. But, um, you know, I, I, th I think part of that's just like, you know, th there's not that many people watching Noita, necessarily. Um, so yeah, j j that's part of why I'm, I'm really interested in expanding out, because I, I think it's just like a win-win. A that said, I'm, I'm still wanting to play more Noita. I, I really want to do a blindfolded run in that game with, with chat guide. What? Did I just get one shot? I got one shot by a blue lizard. I've never seen that happen before. Blue Lizard has one of the weakest bites. What? Can Blue Lizard one-shot kill me? That's crazy. All the- all the- all the lizards other than, like, green and red lizards aren't supposed to be able to one-shot kill you in most cases, but there's, like, a little bit of random damage. And that guy just one-hit killed me. Like, the percent chance to one-shot? Yeah, there, there is, like, a, a little bit of a chance for it to one-hit kill, but it's really, really unlikely in most cases. So that that's why I was so surprised. But hopefully we, we do this a little better this time. This white lizard wants to be a frick. I'm just gonna not, not even bother. Is that thing still alive? Wiki says it's 20% lethality. Yeah, that's... I mean, I guess that's not like 1%, but... It's still relatively unlikely, all things considered. Okay. Got our popcorn. Yeah, it's it's funny because I, I got 20%ed twice. Because that other blue lizard had me killed as well. I didn't realize until, um... Until I noticed that I didn't get a second game over. Okay. Hopefully this time things go a little better. Uh-oh. Speaking of things going a little better. Hello. Oh, no. I don't know what the range is on these guys. Okay. And just try to blast this guy pretty well. He's got a dangerous bite. Why am I doing this to myself? Why am I making... Oh my god. Stop looking at me. Oh my god. I don't know why he didn't just blast me. He had no reason not to just explode me there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I dodged it. Oh, I can't believe I dodged that. He said, do you like, uh, roguelikes? Uh, have you played Atomic Crops? I've, uh, uh, Atomic Crops? I've had it forever. Just started playing today. I I've enjoyed it so far. I haven't played Atomic Crops. It was part of my, um, my roguelike tier list, and it ended up going on the haven't played part of the, the tier list. But I've, I've definitely heard good things. 
me do one of these. What it, what is said link for there, Horatio? I don't I don't want to be checking links all day. Like I said, I'm not I'm not much of a reaction streamer. I, I definitely prefer to just um you know do 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 that sort of thing on my own time. Do one of these. Look at the location of that that dropper that drop wig. Once again in a, a goofy spot. Okay, this time we're going right again. I'm not listening to you. That's that's incorrect. I'm going right because I, I want the the save point. Which is over here. Okay. This is a, a nice quick save point. That was good. This is my second time being in this room. It's nice knowing where to go, though. Take the mask. I don't think I had the opportunity to take the mask there, did I, Coopern? Also, I, I prefer having double spear anyway. Having lizards be afraid of me isn't really a big deal. All right. Um, give me one moment here. I'm all out of water. Let's let's do our first little BRB of the day. Do one of these and one of these, and here's some music. Where? Give me one moment here, chat. I'll be right back, and then we will probably be doing some Heroes Hour. Alias after dying a hundred times. I didn't die a hundred times. We made good progress. Okay, I'm happy with it.
righty. Oh. Oh. I love trying to jump into a shelter instead of roll off edge instead of uh, moving to the next map. Oh, no. Alrighty. Hello. Oh, Belle's leaving. Belle's on her way. All right. That's going to be all of the uh, Rain World for today. We're going to do a little bit of Heroes Hour, and then the rest of the stream will be dedicated to Mecha Bellum. That's the game plan. Uh, for those of you who don't know Heroes Hour, I have no idea how to describe this game, but Quoprin uh, would be the, the one how to describe it. Like, you'll get it immediately. You've, you've seen a game like this, I guarantee it. Do one of these. And let me swap over the title here. Heroes Hour. Um, trying. Uh, Heroes Hour. Then one of those. Alrighty. It's an auto battler. Uh, H O M M three. I don't know what that means. All right, let's do tutorial. This, this me. You can move the hero around the map by pressing right click uh, where you want to go. Your hero can interact with the objects on the map and go pick up that pile of gold. There we go. All right. So I got to double click to confirm. Gold is the most important resource in the game. Use it to build up towns and increase the size of armies. Now make your hero go to the campfire over to the left. All right. Your hero can only move so far each day, but uh, that campfire allows you to move four extra steps. Use them to travel northwards as you travel uh, more of the map. Uh, it will be revealed, and you will find a sawmill with zombies protecting it. All right. Now you can move no further, uh, and you need to end your turn. Done, uh, this is done by clicking the button uh, below. Ending your turn lets enemy player uh, players take their turn. And then a new day starts. Okay. So we're going to hit end turn. There we go. Oh my god, look at how big the map is. It's crazy. I guess it's not that big, but it's pretty big. Each day your hero has their movement points refilled. You can also gain resources daily from certain buildings, like the sawmill up there. The zombies are defending it, but you can attack them by moving uh, towards them. Notice uh, how the path turns red uh, when they, you approach a fight. Alright, here we go. You found the cutest Rain World meme, where do you put it? Uh, I, I've got a memes section in the Discord or in the Lynx channel. Either one of those would be good, Horatio. Uh, before the battle starts, uh, you can move around your regiments, which are marked by banners. You have two different types of units. Goblin Gunners have a range attack, while Gargoyles have a fast melee attack. Quick start battle to uh, commence. Okay. So, hear me out. We're going to put the gobs in the back, and we're going to put the Gunners here, and then that, that goes there. And uh, the idea with this formation is my hero can't die, so they'll go and do damage. This these guys will shoot, and they'll these guys will join in late, and that's that's the idea. We'll see if it works. Um, I'm I'm also going to go on defend for now, and uh, we'll we'll set to attack when the time is right. So we we don't want our um. Our goblin gunners getting attacked, so we're gonna, we're, we we basically just got let our range guys get a free a couple of attacks in, and then we're sending in our dudes. That that's my my idea for this. We'll see if that works. All right, we did it. All right, Theo gains 600 XP. Not too shabby. We'll grab the the wood, and we'll capture the the thing. You lose army units in battle, so you should get reinforcements before you go into battle again. Move on east until you can find the town. Take control of it. You can also pick up any stray resources on the way there. Nice. Is there a bear? Is that a bear? That is a bear, which is impossible level difficulty. It's guarding a a, a wish, a crystal, and some wood. So we're we're, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> We're, we're, if, if we're going to be good tutorial lads, we need to listen to what the tutorial tells us to do. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, 
When this game says something is hard or impossible, it means it's hard or impossible. That's for certain. So towns allow you to create units to expand your army. Do this by pressing a, the button with the man with the pitchfork. This brings up the unit creation screen. Then pay gold to create uh, the available goblin gunners. Uh, so we're going to create all those. The bear is the hardest boss in any video game. Yeah, bear is always very scary. Twitch settings won't let you go higher than 360p. That doesn't make any sense, Bleta. Is anybody else having that problem? Heroes of Might and Magic? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Okay. Um. So what do they want me to do here? Each turn you can construct one new building. You should build a, a building named Tower. Okay. And uh, gargoyles have the like a, a really funny attack, so I'm going to go with that. You're on source. The full quality available for you. Okay, there we go. So maybe it's like a phone thing. All right. You can now choo choose either gargoyles or scrolls for your army. There's a limit to how many units can be created. Um, which resets every seven turns. Next, travel northeast with your hero to the minor shrine. Okay. So there's this shrine over here. Let's head up that way. The Minor Shrine taught your hero a spell named Summon Anima. Uh, when you enter battle, you can choose to use this spell more easily to defeat your enemies. Casting a spell costs mana, which will slowly regenerate day by day. Now please continue north uh, until you find the Ore Quarry and attack the enemies defending it. Okay. I, I guess we'll grab these because they're right next to us. And we'll... We'll come back for this ore, I guess. Because I don't think it... Well, I don't I don't know how, if it's going to be useful next turn or how that works. Okay, we'll end our turn. Obviously, there's some more stuff over there, but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try this fight. So... We've got a lot more gunners this time. They don't have any range units by the looks of it, right? These are flying. These are quick strike. These are ranged. Okay, so they do have rangers. I'm gonna have it look something like this. Uh, once the battle is started, you can cast spells by choosing them within the spell book, then choosing where on the battlefield to cast the spell. For instance, summon units uh, on top of an enemy's ranged units. Okay. All right. Um, start battle, and we can summon anima like right on top of them here, I guess. Seems pretty good. Lolly Key says, and this is the only auto battler I approve with so much cheese. How you doing there, Lolly Q? I'm sorry that you haven't been liking the other auto battler I've been playing. I I swear it's fun. It ju it just takes some time to learn, is all. Okay. I think we're crushing. My my main dude did get a little bit bodied, but other than that, we're fine. Okay. Got him. Got him! Win a battle without taking casualties. Oh, well that's good. Uh, once a battle has started, you can- Oh, I already read that one. Alright. So we're good. Excellent. We got some XP. Um, we can go for Earth Spell and Improved Earth Spells. Decrease the cost of creating units and towns. I like the sound of that. Since it's a tutorial, I'm not gonna put too much thought into where my level ups go. We'll just go ahead and send it. This is Heroes of Might and Magic. Auto Battler is so easy. You can do so many exploits uh, with the right camp slash, champ slash spells and items. Yeah, I saw a little bit of that when I was watching... Um, I can't rem remember who I was watching. There, there was a, a, a person who was playing it and it looked pretty fun. Okay. Um... My my main guy's health is really low. You can see more information about your hero's stats and skills by double-clicking them on the map or double-clicking the portrait on the bottom left. I'm on 1 HP of 17. Which is problematic. Um, each day you can construct another building in town. Buildings are expensive, but they are key to winning. As you construct more buildings, your town develops, giving uh, more access to buildings in game as the game progresses. Double-click your town and 
construct a, a infirmary. Okay. So, um, infirmary. How do I, how do I create this? Get the mistress to play a hot seat with you. Let's see who's better. She, she's busy hanging out with her sister, chilling right now. Kayla's just chilling. Okay, so I, I guess we built a thing the other day, right? So that's why we can't create the infirmary. Oh, interesting. That's cool. There's, there's infirmary. Construct. The infirmary saves uh, the lives of your dead units from this faction, putting them in the active town's garrison. Okay. Taking army losses can be your downfall. If you construct, uh, construct an infirmary in town, half your losses in future battles will be saved and added to the town's garrison. Gotcha. So we're, we're kind of getting it, I think. Um, there's some relatively difficult battles up here. I, I think I want to go back down here and grab some of the goodies over this way. That looks like it's a beholder. Which is a little spooky. There's a treasure chest up here. Hmm... Go explore the map with your hero. Be careful about what enemies you attack. Uh, you can mouse over to see their difficulty. Usually, uh, it's best to fight moderate and easy difficulty enemies. As your hero grows uh, stronger, more enemies will become easy. Right. Is this a tutorial? Yes, it is. Where am I? I guess I can't move anymore. We'll, we'll end our turn. There we go. So we'll, we'll run over here and get this stuff. Um, enemies are no match for the might of your army. Click skip to go right to the combat outcome. Okay. I I lost units. I don't know if that was worth doing. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. The the camp spamming is is really good seemingly. Fun fact: on hardest difficulty computer, enemies openly cheat. <laughs> How so? No path found. I guess I can't get to that thing yet. Okay, so this is moderate difficulty. They've got, um... What is that? They've got trogs, which are sturdy. They've got watchers, which are ranged. And they've got gorgons, which petrify. I feel like the Petra or the, the Gorgons really need to die. And we'll we'll try to double team that over there. Okay. And we'll go ahead and attack by default. Can I cast this? I cannot cast this. So we're it's just kinda going. Oh god, they're they're in range of my my ranged units. That's not a good sign. I was really hoping that they would sneak in and kill the, the trogs, but apparently not. Maybe I should have had my army more stacked up. Working together. It looks like we're gonna be okay. But we definitely lost quite a few units. Uh, the game will get cool when uh, you can have necromancy or be the guys who can eat dragons to multiply XP gain by 16 times and the game just gets nutty, at least from what I've seen of Spiffing Brit. Yeah, I mean, he's always breaking games though, right? But yeah, I'm sure there's like a ton of crazy stuff to break. Okay. So we've got another level up. Uh, increase the rate at which your hero gains XP. Each his hero a spell uh, choice of four spells additionally gives uh, the hero plus one additional knowledge and spell power. This seems like it would snowball really hard, so I'm going to take that. That seems quite good. And let's grab our goodies. Okay, well, I guess we can't do anything more there. Um, we should see if we can build a thing. Uh, unlocks four spells, two minor, one major. I think that that would be good. Let's construct that. Town portal seems okay. Mana cost, it could be a thing. Is it breaking the game if it sounds like it's just meant to be won that way, like Elden Ring? Yeah, Elden Ring is, is very much like a you just will eventually become a god, right? 
That seems really good. How do I select these? Maybe these are just the spells that I have? Okay. Um... Okay, I'm gonna assume that I have these spells now, I guess. Hmm. Maybe you need to visit it visit once? Yeah, maybe, Borbiga. It might be one of those. Upgrade workshop seems good. If I can do that. Can't create any units. Might have to visit town for that. Okay. So let's end turn for now, and we'll collect all this garbage. Ooh. Gold or crystals? Game looks super fun. It's it's pretty cool. I'm not sure if it's necessarily uh, my kind of thing yet, but I'm very willing to give it a try, because it seems neat. Uh, you may choose which treasure to keep. So crystals are good for building. Gold is good for everything. Yeah, I, th I think that's the idea, Borbiga. Okay, there's some crappy little skeletals. Let's just skip to outcome. We lost zero power, which is great. Did you play Heroes of Might and Magic 3? Uh, you'd feel right at home. Oh, if you did play. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, no, I've, I've never played any of those games, honestly. I've, I've never really been... Um, growing up, I didn't really do too many turn-based games like this. I was never really uh, in my wheelhouse, to be honest. Okay, uh, let's see here. Gives all heroes zero mana spell, uh, give all heroes a zero mana spell with extra power whenever cast, the spell changes to another random one. That seems really dumb. I want that. Current spell, Misfortune. Uh, dwelling allows you to create Arcanist. So we, we can get some better units as well. Does this game have that one more turn itch? We'll, we'll see. So I can't build anything this turn. Let's go ahead and close that down. How are you doing, Soklis? Welcome on in, by the way. I hope you're doing well. I heard you were asking Michaela about some stuff the other day. Near impossible. Great. Good. We're not doing that then. We're not going to go for the near impossible. I will go unlock that windmill, though. It seems like a good use of my time. We got rot walkers, which are venom, sturdy, slow, undead. Um, and then we've got Leaping spiders with slow and venom. I think we're gonna want to just take these guys out right away. And uh, is there any way I can? Oh, tomorrow starts a new week. This makes all enemies stronger, but also g you gain new units from town. All buildings it, you've constructed noted. Try to buy uh, at least one building that generates army, so you get some units. Good call there, Lola Q. Um, okay. Let's do one of these, and let's take a look at our spells. We've got Heavy Air Bomb. Deals damage a, to a large group of enemy. Fling, flings them oddly across, uh, flying high into the air. Misfortune is free, right? Affects enemy units. Lowers their luck significantly. Negative luck gives them a chance to be interrupted during their attacks uh, by a local lightning strike. And we've got Summon Anima. This is, this is a zero mana spell. So, let's just cast it on these guys. And we'll hope that works out well. A little too late, but good call. I mean, we'll, we'll know for future. It's one of those things to, to keep in mind, right? Okay. Hopefully our units win this. This was a moderate battle. I guess we're going to have to rely on our spells to do a lot of the work for us. At the end of the day. It appears that we're losing a lot of our gargoyles. We could go for another spell, but I, I don't really know how much mana usage we have. That's crazy that your hero can just, like, go in, it take damage, and then, like, come back out. Or, and then come back into the battle later. We lost 16 power there. Can I stack learning? I don't think I can. Teaches uh, the hero a spell from the four spells. Additionally, gain plus one knowledge and two spell power. Uh, Terramancy, archery. 
Wait a second, what's this? True strike projectiles gain four times larger area. Wow, that seems pretty strong. Hmm. There's Aeromancy. We've already got some air stuff. I guess we'll grab the wisdom for now. For someone who won a couple uh, Heroes of Might and Magic uh, three tournaments in my college times, that's awesome, Loli Q. I may be expecting a little too much from someone who approaches this kind of game for the first time. Yeah, I am as fresh as fresh can be, so definitely got to keep that in mind. I'm level four. Okay, so I, I, I think I get it. Like, that goes there. Okay, so we've got healing aura. Choose a part of the battlefield. Friendly units will have lost health replenished over time while they're inside. Last 20 seconds. Salt shower. An area of the battlefield will rain... Uh, a rain of salt will fall, dispelling all magical effects and dealing damage to summoned units in that area. We've got summon bone shooter. Summons a group of bone shooters that attack. Uh, will fight for you for the rest of battle. Seven units. We've also got summon flame juggler, which sounds really cool. Summons a flame juggler, ranged attackers uh, that will fight for you for the rest of battle. Eight units, 130% power multiplier, and it's a minor fire spell. I feel like the he healing aura sounds strongest, so let's go with that. Is there uh, another thing that I can purchase? I cannot. Okay. So we're, we're going to miss out on those extra units, I guess. And I can't make it any further. Alright, a new week has begun. Towns have renewed their unit growth. Okay. So, let's go ahead and try to get a unit. Probably should have done that sooner. So we've got uh, Hall of Shaping, a dwelling that allows you to create golem or ice sculpture weekly. Uh, of four of the units. Okay, so that, that sounds pretty good. We'll go for that. Town has grown... Uh, wait, Rajan has grown to township. We can get a commercial center, which is gives a medium amount of gold, ore, wood, crystal, mercury, and sulfur once a week. Give a one-time boost that makes all your heroes level up. Greatly increases weekly growth of Goblin, Gunner, uh, Goblin, Gunner, and Guard. If you have a tank with high HP, healing is good. If uh, not, then uh, it's worth checking the others. I'm planning on going for a, a tank route based on what I have, I think, will lick you. Um... Feel like this is pretty good. This seems like I could start to ball out of control, but maybe I want that later. More gunners seems fine. Especially if I'm going to be going into tanks. So we want the golem, which are sturdy. There we go. And we'll create max. There we go. All right. So we're going to have our golems be the front line. Gargoyles will be like assassins and the gunners will just blast things down, hopefully. That's the, the overarching game plan here with my, my current formation. Oh, I should build another building. Uh, building planner. Increases your town's income by 500 per day. Sounds pretty strong. Storing mana seems good, and then we could get a Jin, which would be a caster. Allows you to buy and sell resources for gold. Eh. Just just money. I can't I can't build this turn. I already built. I've already built this turn, dang it. Okay. I think I'm getting it, kind of. Uh also you can always switch what units you want to generate. Right. You could send your hero home to collect new units in your town instead of in, instead build a tavern in town and hire a hero using it. Whoopsie, I didn't do that. Well, I guess that's going to have to happen tomorrow then. Is, is it why isn't letting me move? Oh, here we go. Take the windmill. I can't take the windmill. Why can't I take the windmill? Okay, what am I supposed to do right now? I guess we end our turn. 
Ooh, they just killed a titan, I think. That's kind of terrifying. Okay. They wanted me to build a tavern, right? So let's do that. Um, tavern. Allows you to recruit heroes. Heroes come with a small army at the start price of 2,500 gold each way increasing for each purchase within a single week. Okay. So there we go. And now what do they want me to do? I can't buy more of this. That would be nice if I could. Uh, that is also a good strategy, using uh, one hero to fight and another one who walks in the, the shade of the first one who's just picking up trash that's left behind. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't realize I could get multiple heroes. That does sound pretty helpful. Okay, tavern. We can get a real dur level 2 wizard. And they come with arcanist and gunner. There we go. This hero works for you. Uh, works just like your first hero. You can give them uh, give them new units, then send the two heroes uh, to meet out uh, in the world. Okay. So, how do I give them new units? Mechabellum, but two D. Uh, pretty different, I believe. Okay. When two heroes meet, they can exchange units. You can drag units between armies or right-click to quickly switch between them, one hero to the other. Uh, you can either put all units with one hero or split your forces. For now, give all units to your strongest hero. Okay. Okay. So now I want my main hero going around and murdering everything and my side or my other hero just like going and collecting shit, right? Is that is that the the overarching plan here? Can I grab this without getting strizzled? Goblin gunners or 1250 gold? I mean more army sounds pretty good. Okay. To the north of your town, there's a mountain pass leading into a new area. Your army should now be strong enough to defeat the creatures guarding that mountain pass. Go take them out. Okay. I think I get it. Alright. Uh, I want to go and murder these guys over there really quick. Just grab that. And now this is an easy fight, apparently. So we'll we'll do something along this line. Where are my golems? I don't see them. Why don't I have all my units out? That's weird. Uh Pog, a hero's of might and magic, uh three spiritual successor. This is awesome. Uh, lots of people seem to be pretty interested in this one, that's for sure. Okay. How do I field my golems for this fight? It doesn't appear that I can. Did they die? No, they haven't been in combat. You didn't take them out of the city. Oh! Whoops. Alrighty then. It's a bit of a bit of a mistake. Um Let's go ahead and do a fire blade. Something like that seems good. I put my shooters in the front line. You, you you put your shooters slightly closer so that way your melee units can walk past them and your shooters get more time to shoot while your melee units aren't being attacked. That is that is that is the the theoretical strategy, Loli Q. You kappa, but like that that's that's how that works in so many games. Okay. Very nice. So we use this guy to go and grab the silver band and the wood. More like not is it a would one count this as a ripoff? I I feel like while they are similar, that doesn't make it a ripoff. 
Let's skip the outcome. And it's an easy win. And we've got another level up. We can get offense, increase attack speed of units, and let their damage increase as they lose health. Uh, protects units from and from large enemy units and spells. Aromancy teaches a new air and improves air techniques. I've already got some pretty strong or a pretty strong air move, but I feel like offense is universally a lot more useful. And we could go into bodyguards. If the hero is wait, if the hero's army is weaker than the largest arm, what the heck? We keep getting power outages. This is a little spooky. Alias, uh, not always the lower skills uh, are the best. You have to look at them all. Pick your strategy and try to max what you pick. Not always the lower skills are the best. What, what do you mean by that? Oh, I see. Like, maybe I should be considering these as well. What's the furthest you got in the tutorial before you wiped uh, when you played offline? Um, I got myself killed over here earlier. This is the furthest I've, I've gotten. I was I was really briefly just running through it. Archery is is going to be strong potentially. Maybe I do start to go into this so that way I can get archery. Okay. Let's do that. And since we're right here, we might as well do this. XP seems pretty pog. Gonna grab that and just get another full level up, I suppose. Let's get that archery bonus we were wanting. We've got a lot of ranged units, so... That seems good. Tunic of Mayhem. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna send this guy back to town so we can go gather the other units. And I guess we'll end turn here. I, I don't know if it's uh, I'm doing this smart thing. Heavy sword! Plus one attack and defense or money. I think we're doing fine on money. Uh, let's go ahead and buy the thing that gives us more money. That seems good. Improves the town's development. Counts uh, as a constructing four buildings instead of one. Increases gold income. By 250 per day. Increases town's income by 500 per day. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but it seems like it's it's good in the long range. Mo more buildings, it, it means it improves the town faster. Hmm. Let's, let's grab this, because it counts as four buildings, which for some reason to me sounds very good. Infirmary doesn't have anything. Unit creation doesn't have anything. Okay. Alright. This guy is here to pick up the army. And deliver it. There we go. And I don't think there's anything over here that I can really manage. So we'll just run on over this way. And I want to gather this minor shrine... I don't know if I quite can. Okay. Enjoy all of these extra units, I guess. Is there a maximum army size? It doesn't appear so. Okay, is there anything else that I can do here? Not very safely, seemingly. Alright, so we'll just end turn like that. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> that guy's level 7 and he's got a boat! That seems pretty OP. Okay. Oh, we already visited this. You have infinite army with you? That seems pretty good. That seems pretty dang good, even. Okay. So we're gonna grab the arcane, and then next turn we're gonna grab the uh, university, so that way I can have the arcanist. That should be good. Is there any advantage to splitting up your party into smaller stacks uh, of ones uh, when in a fight? I don't know if you can do that or how that would work. Okay. I can't buy multiple things in a turn. You have infinite army, but you need to know uh, all their names, uh, so it's good and bad. Oh god. So many names. Okay. Let's just go rip through these snakes. 
put these guys up toward the front. And we'll do something along this line. Okay. This looks pretty good. Just stack them up. Why not? All right. Uh, we should close that. We'll see how this goes. That's a lot of snakes. Oh my god. The poison. I have so many shots flying out. That's wild. Alright, looks like the spiders were pretty deadly. They did quite a lot of damage to my hero. Oh no! <laughs> my dudes are running away up at the top. Alright. Alright. Looks like I didn't lose too much. Yeah, I didn't lose anything. A perfect fight. The sales number speaks for itself. I didn't play the game. I watched it la its launch on Twitch and it looked awful and unfinished. Uh, looking at the average play time for the game, 15 hours, and I have 1,500, and uh, here's a Might and Magic 3. It can't, uh, it can't be that good. I think they strayed too far from the original formula. Oh, you guys are, you guys are just talking about... Yeah, the opinions on the game, I see. I understand. Magical skill, Pog. Rank 2, Terama. What is this skill? It's movement. The sigil stone emanates a strange aura, magical in nature, but latent waiting. Uh, you can activate it uh, for your hero uh, to infuse it with its power. Uh, if you prepare a ritual using two sulfur, two mercury, two crystals, uh, and spending this day and tomorrow. I, I can't because I don't have the sulfur. What a shame. I've lost six power there. So, I thought it said I could level things up multiple times. Like, there was Terra 2 there. Increases health and damage of all units by a flat amount. Upgrade requires level 8 or better mastery. Mastery or archery. Okay. Interesting. Increases the weekly growth of units in all your towns. Hmm. I, th I think I think getting our units stronger would be good. Oh wait, do I already have Legion? Oh, I maybe I just got it by default. If you want to level up lower skills, the higher skill uh, have to be at least the same level. Oh, I see. So if I want to get this skill to start leveling up like crazy, I need to level up this. And then I can start to level this one. And I can spam learning to, to become XP god. Black market. Uh, in a derelict building, you find a guild of thieves peddling strange artifacts of magical qualities. You determine uh, with yourself it is likely they have been stolen from the enemy's lands as your own. Uh, and thus decide you may as well browse their wares. Um, my gold is up on the top left and we have 13,000 currently. We got uh, lear plus one learning skills. So we, we got pants that make me work or th learn better, which sounds good. Aromancy skill, call beast, creature speed, ultimate necklace, spell power, knowledge. That seems good, and this seems good. I think we buy the pants. The question is, do we buy Zaro's ward? Like, that's a lot of spell power. That's pretty darn good, right? Hmm. My, my kitty cat be a meowing. What is it, kitty cat? Hello. Hmm. I'll, I'll buy it. You're going to sleep? All right, have a good one, and Thank you for hanging out with us today, as always. How you doing, Murper? Welcome on in. Good timing. Yeah, grab one of those. Did I already do something today? I don't remember. Looks like I didn't. We can get even more gold going. Uh, Man, I wonder if I should go for the, the Gate of Divinity. That sounds pretty good. I feel like our money situation has been pretty fine. 
Let's grab these guys. Oh, have I already built a building today? Why can't I build that? Oh, can be built. Can be built. Why isn't it letting me build these? I'm doing well. I'm full of cake. So happy yourself. I'm doing well. Just enjoying some heroes. Uh, it's, it's been pretty fun so far. Uh, the, although I am getting tutorialed pretty hard. But that's okay. How, how do how do purchase these? You have the I do have the right resources. That's why I'm confused. Me me no can buy. Did I already do this? And it's heroes. Cavern. Hmm. Why can't I purchase it? <laughs> Oh, I already built this turn, that's why. That's what I was trying to find out. I, I forgot whether I built this turn or not. Okay. Um, I guess this guy's just gonna go straight ahead as much as I can. Where's the damn Pharaoh Scepter? I've been stuck in this tomb for years! Listen, you're doing this to yourself. If you weren't playing an Iron Man, you could have just, like, went and picked one up. You've, you've really done this to yourself. Uh, attack and defense for a basic cape. Part of a three-piece bonus. 25% of lost creatures return after combat. That sounds really good. Plus one morale. I feel like this has like a bunch of potential to be strong. Alright. Uh, we'll just chill right here. And end our turn. Just pretend you're grinding to 99. Exactly. You're not, you're not in it for the item. You're in it for the, the loot. Go for item sets. Yeah, item sets seem good. Um, We have one turn to... Uh, wait. Is there a reason I can't buy that one? No, I can buy that one. Allows well, friendly wizards to purchase bonuses by sending Aether and artisans uh, to purchase bonuses by spending ore. The hero does not need to be in town. It's kind of cool. I think we're going to get the university and create those guys. There we go. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. I, I genuinely have no idea. All right. It's time. Uh, when your army is big enough, some of your units will have to stay in reserve, waiting until later uh, in the fight to join the fray. You can drag out the reserve to switch units that are benched. Um. Okay. Do flyers handle walls well? I definitely need these guys out. Flyers handle walls well. Okay. And I imagine archers also handle walls relatively well. Okay. Warding means that they're going to be resistant to magic. Flyers don't care about walls. Perfect. I don't know. How'd they get stuck together? How do I get unstuck? There we go. Nah! Oh! Weird. I just, like, phased them together. What the hecky? Oh my. Oh my. Alright. These guys are probably a little close. Alright, this looks good. What's this one? Scale? Should I have them scale or just attack? When you click a stack, uh, a frame appears in the middle of the screen under health bar. Like r right over here, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, this should be good, and I'm definitely casting a spell, like, immediately. Heavy air burst on, uh, pardon me? Heavy air burst right here looks pretty dumb. Why is my camera moving on its own? Got him. That'll hold, take off the, the attention for a little while there, hopefully. Um, I should definitely have my, uh, my flyers scale. And just get them in there. That would be ideal. And then just get everybody else attacking. 
There we go. It seems to be working pretty well. Their high ground units are surviving a lot better than I was hoping, to be honest. They've been pretty annoying. Okay, there we go. Just pointing me to the stack manipulation controls. I lost 20 power there. I did. We did just punch through the wall, that's true. Okay. Um... Those guys are hard. That's pretty spooky. That's impossible. Do you think I can manage a hard? Uh, you should be ready for the game now. There's more stuff to explore in the land of lava, north of what uh, is where the enemy player lives. Uh, they play by the same rules you do, even if it's a uh, brain is a computer. Do your best to win. Good luck. Okay. It can be important uh, as uh, you leave one stack of 10k soldiers. They can be wiped out as soon as they appear, but if you split the horde into 4 to 10 different stacks, they'll pop up faster and uh, put up a fight. Noted there, Loli Q. <laughs> Tutorial's just lying to me. Of course. Of course the tutorial would lie to me. Okay. Um... Would it be worth it sending my wizard back to get the, the fresh units that are about to spawn? Probably. I'm just going to send this guy back. Okay. And you can go over this way for now. This is uh, Artisan's Lodge. Remember about Town Portal once per week? I don't even know where to activate that, but that's a good call. Once a master of strong combat and, uh, wait. Once a master of strong combat enough to turn the tide of, uh, several wars, uh, the aging artisan, uh, has retreated to this for her status, humble abode. However, her eyes still show you a keenness betraying her past. I may be done with that myself, she says, but I'm looking uh, to the next generation. Leave some of your infantry here and I'll train them to be the most elite troops. She stares uh, dreamily out uh, the window. Three days should be all it takes. All right. Um, Giga, Giga tank golem sounds pretty good. That requires 6,500 6, gold, which I do not have. And it turns them into a horror. Drop some lowest level. Um, you mean like these guys? They turned into thunder gods. These guys turn into horrors as well. What about um? What about the arcanist? This also turns into a thunder god. So it just turns one of the units into like a max level unit. That's interesting. So I, I don't have enough money for an artisan, but um, we should definitely save for that, I think. That would be wise. And we've got a moderate fight over here that we could potentially do. Okay, so we'll end turn. Let's just double check and make sure that I built a building. I'm pretty sure I did. Already built this turn. Okay, end turn. These guys are spooking me. I don't like that. So this is the end of the week, so we should try to build something that gets us more units. Uh, an upgraded dwelling that allows uh, you to upgrade the Arcanist. Or we could get um, an upgraded dwelling that allows you to upgrade Golem to Automatons. Automaton sounds pretty cool. Or we could get the Jin, which is a flying caster. Hmm, that requires sulfur, which we do not have. This is really cheap. I feel like we should get more money. Extra spells on the field, that's true. Grab some of those. Ooh, they cost sulfur. Whoops. That is uh, an expensive resource for me currently. That's for certain. Okay. So we, we might as well wait here for the day, because I, I don't really have the ability to... Like, they're, they're, they're gonna make, like, a million new troops anyway. 
How do you get sulfur? I don't know. You build a market, uh, you can trade resources. Noted. Let's take a look, quick look over here. Maybe we can find some goodies. Can I build a bear yet? No, I cannot build a bear. I don't know if I'm playing a character class that can build a bear. Let's go gather this stuff over here first. Sulfur! Yes, please. Challenging. Challenging moderate. So this is the only one here that I can kind of do stuff. Can you kill the bear that was guarding stuff? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we are not capable of doing that yet. All right. A week has begun. The towns have renewed uh, unit growth. Uh, this week's effect. All heroes gain some phoenix as bodyguards. During combat, these uh, units and Vulcan wing gain 10% health, 10% damage. So these are still moderate, thankfully. They didn't go up. There's a sulfur mine. Is there is there a sulfur mine somewhere nearby? That that sounds Oh yeah, there is a sulfur mine over there. It's it's heavily guarded, but maybe we'll come back that way. Um we'll take the gold. This guy is really just a a go and gather stuff kind of dude. That's kind of his objective. What what is he guarding there? Black obelisk. Cool. We're definitely yoinking up a storm with this unit, which is pretty ideal. Okay. Let's go ahead. Whoa, don't build an Aether Forge just yet. I'm good on that. Uh, I think we want more money so I can get some fancier stuff. Ooh, Sultan. That's cool. Uh, restoring mana seems good. But me, me want money. Me want money. More money, please. Okay. We're really trying to just scale ourselves up as much as possible. That's my current objective. Oh. Phoenix. That's cool. Okay. So they have a hero font, which is a healer. They can empower units, and they summon as well. So we're going to want to bully the shit out of that thing for sure. Um, we're going to want our flyers, most of all. These are all of our units. Okay. I'm a little bit scared. Okay, how do I... Let, let's split these guys off. Like so. Is there any way I can get these gargoyles to attack the, the ramparts? Um, let, let's have these guys go up here. Sadly, no. Okay. Okay. So I'm thinking something along this line should be good. And we will have them scale. Is that, uh, that house is in, uh, wait, is an emerald? Kind of. So I think we're going to do this. This looks fine. And uh, let's let's go for it. The extreme... It would, wait. It, it would be... will be extremely hard to keep them focused on those ramparts. Noted. Okay. So let's, uh, let's take a look at our spells here. Step one, I think, is uh, we want to place these over here. And we'll see if we can just attract enough attention to mess things up. It looks like I can't hit my own units, which is pretty important by the looks of it. It's definitely high value. Okay, I'm gonna turn off scale. That way everybody else just focuses on attacking. It seems like having flyers is very good. That seems very helpful. I can drag my units to give them orders. I see... That, that does seem like it would be pretty good. Oh, we won. We just kind of crushed them, seemingly. We lost 26 power. That's not too bad. Okay, I want this leveling up even more. If this hero's army is weaker than the larger, largest army you have, your hero gains bodyguards. That, that doesn't help me. Are the blue lines lightning? E uh, maybe? 
maybe is the answer. Recruits Yotan over time and makes Yotan and its upgrade stronger. Recruits Yotan for this hero's army over time. Or Thunder God if your hero already has any in their army. At an average rate of 0.49 per week, Yotan and Thunder God gain 5% health for each damage or, or for each rank. Um, that does seem really good. Like Mecha Bellum, but without the the cool Mecha and fired explosions. We're going to be playing some Mecha Bellum later here there, Merz. Don't worry. I just want to mess around with this today. By the way, since we've got uh, more people here than at the very start of the stream, or at least I hope, um, we are going to be doing a special roguelike day on uh, Thursday where I play through... I'm just I'm just gonna like taste test essentially a bunch of roguelikes that you've probably never seen before, um, so yeah that that's the idea. I've got like a whole list of of different roguelikes in my my inventory in in my Steam that I want to play NetHack. Yeah, we can play NetHack. I'll probably play NetHack through Noita because that's available in there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's sulfur. Is, uh, is this game fun? It's pretty fun so far. It's not really my my usual pace, but uh, I, I I think I could see myself playing this game a lot more off stream than on stream. Have you played Tiny Rogues? I have not. I don't have Tiny Rogues though. I'm gonna play games that I, I own. Um, or games that are like just a few dollars most at most. Okay, so we defeated the Jade Fortress, which is good. How do we town portal? Is that a thing that I can do? Spellbook. I don't have access to town portal, seemingly. Wait, tiny rogues. For some reason, I, I I thought for a moment that I had played it, but I don't think I have. Um, that guy's hard. These guys are challenging. What's what's harder? Hard or challenging? Challenging sounds doable. Hard sounds nigh impossible. Uh, let's see here. It's also impossible. There's a sulfur mine over that way. I'm afraid to even be this close to this building. I feel like that's pretty spooky. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump into town here. We can get even more money. Our, our money's high enough where we're going to be able to buy, like, a good dude now. Allows creation of non-faction creatures. Uh, two unit slots become uh, available. The price of creatures increases the more of them that are created. The creatures can be re-rolled once a week at a monetary cost. That's, that seems really crazy to me. What's hospital do? After combat, you will save half of your dead units uh, belonging to any faction. You do not need to have an infirmary for uh, they will be added to the town's garrison. Only one hospital can be active at a time. The hospital also, uh, raise the percentages of saved units in infirmaries by 10%, uh, up to a total of 80%. We can unlock four spells. More dude sounds good. But hospital gets me to incarnation, which is cool. Let's do that. There's a whole game of NetHack inside Noita. Yeah, um, Dexter made it. Not sure if the Noita NetHack mod is the best way to enjoy NetHack. I would, it, uh, would be fun to check it out, but maybe have a backup plan. Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> just be one way of testing it out there, Dexter. That's kind of what I had in mind. Uh, let's see here. We've got the docks. I was here to build a fleet... Uh, for his army for 1,000 gold and 5 wood. This is impossible. More, more lost hero junk. Ooh, a rapier. That seems good. Some more junk that I can't deal with, really. Here's the mod, though, for people that are curious. Yeah, there you go. Feel free to check it out. All right, I guess we're sending this guy back now. It's gonna take a while. To pick up all the new stuff. Dude, banger track, by the way. 
Okay. Um, I guess we'll head over here, maybe, to do the Artisan's Lodge. And I'll throw my gargoyles in to become horrors. What? I thought I had 8,500. No! Damn it. I feel like I'm in hell. Impossible. Got a learning stone, though. Gives a, the hero visiting 750 experience plus 250 experience uh, for each level once per game. Do I want to activate this later, do you think? Or do I activate it now? Like, I've, I've already got, like, a lot of scaling XP stuff going on. I feel like this might be one of those things that you want at, like, a mid-game point. There's, like, a tipping point or something. I don't know if I'm there. They didn't attack me. You thought I was gonna die? Oh, God. I'm a little alarmed that you thought that. <laughs> okay. Let's let's get the Gate of Divinity. Please. Or not. You would say take? Okay. That's all the intel I need. Um, oh, um, my city level's too low. Ah, I see. Upgraded dwelling allows you to upgrade goblin gunner to goblin guard. Getting my goblins upgraded would probably be nice. Plus one morale to all heroes uh, and future heroes. Improves the quality of artifacts sold by artificer. Gain plus two knowledge to all heroes and future heroes. I think that sounds pretty good. Not gonna lie, don't know what knowledge does. But, it probably has something to do with magic damage. If I had to guess. Okay. We need to form this guy up. And, uh, yeah, let's do one of these. Got yet another level up. What's this one? Increase the weekly growth of units and towns, so we can get even more stuff. Gives a bloodlust buff whenever allied units die during combat. Whenever a hero's army dies, the attack and speed of allied creatures increase within a 48 distance. The base increase of 5%. Hmm, that seems pretty good. Warding protecting against spells seems really strong as well. Increase army reserve limit. Hydromancy. I feel like I just want to go for more learning. And then we'll we'll stack that up. Get all the XP. So based on what you're saying, I should get away from this because this is like a player character. And they're going to murder the shit out of me if I'm anywhere near them. So let's do that. Let's get the hell away from them. Alright. Uh... Oh, hey. They didn't attack me. That's good. <laughs> Glad that they didn't attack me. Because they would have been completely destroyed if they had. It wouldn't have even been close. I can assure you of that. Um... Let's get the Yotun, I think. Okay. So we've got Incarnation, Rage, when creatures take damage, its damage is increased. Charge. We can get uh, a Yotun, which is a ranged creature able to fire projectile, uh, damaging enemies at a distance. It deals half its normal damage in melee combat. There's an area where creatures are too close for ranged combat. Okay. We can get like a really strong ranged character. 26 power, 26 power, 17 to 26, 7, 16 to 25, 15 speed, 8 speed, 251, 206. So this this is like a, a diver, and this is like a, a ranger. I feel like range is just broken, so I'll just take that. Uh, And I guess we'll create max. There we go. And I have them all in my inventory, which is great. Nice. 
Okay, so th this guy now has the stronger army. So, like, am I strong enough to... I, c I could just, like, run over here and murder this really quick. Should I do that? Get the bear? Maybe we do that. Maybe we go back to the, the earlier zone. Need to experiment a lot. Clearly. It's very much one of those games. Okay. We'll go murder these guys really quick, at least. Weird. Am, am, did my internet die? die? What the fuck is happening? Uh-oh. What's happening? Am I control? I'm not controlling either side here. What is what is happening? Do I have control over this? Or is this just another enemy doing things? Oh, they're attacking my outpost. So the, these are my units. I see. Um, but I don't have any magic to use. So they're just going to rip through my outpost, in other words. Alright. I didn't realize I had left units at the outpost. Okay, so we're, we're definitely losing this round. Interesting. Alright. That's a bunch of units lost. They're coming for me, goddamn. The wall is just gone. I mean, no, they just retook the wall. Uh, can they go after my city? Hmm. Okay, I, may, maybe I put my primary focus on beating them. Okay. Uh, I'm happy with the sword. Got this cape versus spell power. They'll conquer it, buy out my troops, and then beat me up with it. That sounds awful. How do I... Oh. Like this. One big army, please. One very large army. There we go. Alright. Am I winnable now? Challenging. So it's not quite winnable. But we're gonna go down here. And I guess we'll end turn. Are they coming for the murder? They might just be coming for the murder. Did they just yoink my shit? Okay. Army reserves. When a powerful army enters battle, not all its units are deployed at once. Some units have to wait uh, until later combat. Okay. I don't know how intelligent it is with, with that decision-making. Okay. This this looks fine already, honestly. Something like that. Alright. The bears! Oh my. The bears do some sear- My phoenix! Oh shit, the bears hurt really bad. Alright. We're taking a surprising amount of damage. Maybe I should have cast a spell against these guys. How'd that go? We lost 26 power. That could have gone better, that's for certain. Alright. Uh... Get the crystal and the wood and the more wood and the wish. Wow, the wish is kind of lame. I was expecting more out of a, a wish, you know? Okay. I guess with this guy, I don't really know what I want to do, but they, they stole this from me. What does a wish do? It just gives me the, the, the extra supplies as it turns out, doesn't mean much. Yeah, I think we just end turn here. Did they just run off? These little shits? 
These little shits. Who do they think they are? Here we go. I don't know if I should be doing everything with one hero like I currently am. Maybe that's a bit of a misplay. There's more dudes. More dudes. That's, that's literally impossible. Okay. Okay. So you just, just hand over the units. All right. We definitely need some sulfur. That's for sure. They got the golden horseshoe. All right. New week. New week, new units. We don't have any sulfur. I think I might want to buy into the marketplace finally. Or hear me out. Mm. Mm. Yeah, let's let's buy the, the marketplace. I I just bought the money because money. I can't stop myself. I need the money. Okay, I really need this sulfur over here. So let's go do that. We'll 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 just go clear everything on this side. Uh, if he can outrun them, wait. Uh, oh. Yeah, I I, I got gotcha. you. Ba basically, having like one giga dude has its problems. Do a little wait here. Oh god, they're making money. I don't want them to make money. Alright, we'll just skip on that one. I actually lost some units, which is impressive. Give me more learning. I will be the most learned. If I'm gonna have, like, one Omega unit, like what I'm doing, I should probably try to get more, uh, like, speed and stuff as well. And uh, let's go ahead and buy that other building that we wanted, which was the marketplace. And we've got loads of wood, so we're going to sell. I don't need to sell the wood, I guess. We can just buy the, the sulfur. And we won't bother buying it until we need it. Marketplace seems like it's going to be important, though. That's for sure. I still don't see where the town portal spell is. Spell box. Like, where, where is town portal? Do you see town portal? I don't. I thought I had it, but apparently not. Okay, this was a, a very cool dead end. Good job, me. Did I ever interact with that obelisk? Probably not. What are they doing over here? They're, they're coming to mess with me, aren't they? God diggity doodle. That's not what I want. Okay. There's some ruins over here to check out. Five ore is probably worth more than that amount of gold. I really want the sulfur over here. This this might be like a game losing decision. Not going back to base. But hopefully it's not. Hopefully it isn't a literal game-losing decision. Are they just gonna come and body me? Ah, uh, they're coming to body me. <laughs> it's all over. Are there flying pigs in it? That I probably, honestly, this is bad. Um, use your spells to win. Heavy air blast. Where? More, more spells, please. This guy's so insanely fucked. It's not even it's not even gonna be close. If I get like a single kill, that's gonna be cool, but the chances that that happens seem pretty unlikely. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead. Okay, we're gonna have to come back for our uh, our town, I guess. Which is probably really bad. Now would be the a great time to know how to do the town portal spell. How do I how do I town portal like you? Where's where's my town portal option? Is it this button? No. 
That's mana. If I could town portal here, click on hero. Okay. I've clicked on the hero. Now what? Spell book. We've got minimize heavy air and summon anima. So I don't have it. Is that correct? That looks like that's the, the thing. That I just don't have it at all. Hmm. They're just at the gates. They haven't entered the city. I guess we're just walking it. I, I beat them hands down if I get there. Uh, oh god. <laughs> I've got... I've got an gargoyle to defend. Am I about to... Do I lose if I lose my town? I don't know. Uh... Okay, just, just one of these. You don't remember. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. I, th I think we've made a, a major tactical blunder by not having a split army. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> They're stealing our shit! <sighs> God damn it. I can't make it back to them easy uh, either. Just the worst part. You bastards! Oh my god. Okay. Bruh. The fact that they're just like running around me is fricked up. Okay. Let's do our- we'll attack our own shit, I guess. Fine, why not? Um... I don't want these to be attached. Frick. All right. Uh, something along this line should be fine. I have scale active, and we'll we'll just run them down. Having to bust down our own gates. They, they just sent what they kept one dude there. That's so troll. Okay. Can I reach them? I can reach them. Okay. Let's go fuck them up. Here we go. Uh, I would like my Thunder God out, for sure. And... Trying to make sure we've got our front line all front liney. That looks good. I'm fairly confident. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's do one of these. To, to fling them around. Make some chaos happen in the battle. I don't know where my healing spell is. That's kind of annoying. I think they've got some rangers back there. So getting some stuff in melee range would be good. Oh, my Yotun is, is too far up. He's doing melee damage now. That's not what I want. Okay, let's... Uh, can I order this guy backwards? Looks like I can. There we go. Am I winning? I don't know. Maybe is the answer. Okay, we can heavy air spell them again. Just fling them around. Oh, man. Are they actually going to beat me even though it's on easy? Okay, send reinforcements. And we're going to place these right on top of her here. I don't understand how they're winning, even though I had, like, a way more massive army. I, I guess, there, is there, like, actual micro in this game? It's hard to tell. Yes, I, I really, I'm struggling with that, then. Yeah, I think we're just going to lose. 
I, I'm definitely struggling. That's for certain. Yeah, we're, we're just... I thought we had, like, the way better army. It doesn't make any sense. All right, we just lose. Bruh. Game hard. Oh, I, I leveled up. His champ spammed spells, so did I. I also used a bunch of spells. Okay. So is it just game over then? Okay. It seems like it's literally just game over at this point. I'm not sure why I'm still alive. Okay, how do I make a comeback here? I don't know if I can. We're gonna need some more Thunder Gods, I think. Uh, let, let's go into our marketplace here. And we'll buy some of these. Can I afford this now? I can. Okay, there we go. So. Unit creation. Make all those. Make all these. I guess we just create max on everything. Can you get better spells and then just push people around? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, we're gonna need a new dude. Real doer is, is back. What's our money at? 11,000? Drag your guy into the city? What do you mean? I can't just... What do you mean drag him into the city? Open mage guild. Okay. There's town portal. Is there a way that I equip that? I thought I just had it on by default. I'm left clicking. I'm right clicking. I don't know. This game's UI is jank. I, like, let's see. Like, that, that, go into hero screen and check spell book. So it's, it's got the ash and the acid spells now. Where did the town portal go? It's in air. Am I only allowed, like, certain combinations of these spells? Is that is that what's happening? I don't understand. Like, I, I don't know... Like, th these are, like, the different elements, and I don't know what these are. I'm looking at different pages? What? Uh... Okay, so there it is. Okay, cancel town portal. So that's a thing. They're still at easy. Even though I'm tired. Probably had town portal. I uh, had town portal before they stole your city. I did. Most certainly did. Okay. Um, I guess we end turn. Well, this is going really poorly. Turtle up inside and wait until the end of the week. Eh, then buy more stuff and kick their butts. Tutorial. We still learning. I mean, the tutorial's over. I'm just failing. Uh, Here, let's see what else we got. Maybe we, we get... The upgraded um, gins. The gi the gins seem really good, but mana regen would be strong as well. Let's go to the merchant place and we'll buy some of these. We keep running out of them anyway. Okay, there we are. Everything is the tutorial if you're bad enough. Yeah, exactly. 
Actually, that doesn't make any sense at all, does it? I'm tired, so I literally can't move still. So I guess we're, we're ending turn again. They just got blizzard. They're stealing all of my shit! <sighs> oh my god. I, I'd like, how is this not just like a guaranteed loss at this point? I, I don't understand. Okay, so we, we've got all these extra dudes, which is great. Antique shop might be good for getting some crazy gear. What do we need for that? We need crystals and ore. The one advantage we have is we, we set up a banger economy. That, that is the one thing that we've got going for us. I need more ore. Let's grab one more. There we go. And then we can buy the antique shop. Let's go ahead and take a look. We've got access to warding skill. Creature speed. Warding seems like it would be really good here. And hydromancy skill. These are both trash. I think. Like, I don't, I don't think they're good enough. I need army. How would you recommend I get more army? Buy, like, recruit people through the tavern? Is that the play? I, I don't know. You can upgrade the units you have. How does one do that? Are these two these two units are on top of each other, right? So how how do I upgrade the units that I have? Infirmary wouldn't do that. Get your main guy, uh, army guy into the city. Okay. Well, I mean, this guy's tired and on the city, so I don't know if I can do that. Okay, there we go. Hang on. So can I just... Greatly increase the weekly growth. Open the army tab. Unit creation, you mean? And then what? Oh, upgrade, I see. So I was only able to upgrade the, the one set of goblin guards. Now they're no longer ranged, though. Isn't that worse, maybe? Hmm. Depends. Okay. We'll hope that that's a little better. Do you feel like a goober? I, I, it, this game makes you feel like a goober. I want those boots. Uh, we will skip the outcome. So that That's a, a free win. Ooh, Novice Curus. We've, we've got an active artifact, though. We don't want that. Yeah, I do have town portal knowledge. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, I think I want warding. Right? Where Where is that? Here it is. Protects units against attacks from large enemy units and from spells. If large enemy attack aren't enemy attacks are ignored at around the, a rate of 5% per rank of the attacker. While fighting an enemy hero, their spell power is reduced by 5 per rank. Additionally, your units gain a chance to resist damaging and debuffing spells. I definitely want that, clearly. That seems to be a thing. It's 2 a.m. Good night. Have a good one there, Lolik. You. Thank you for hanging out with us. Alright. It seems like they've got quite a few heroes going. This little shitter. He's yoinking everything. Okay. One, one strong army person doesn't seem to be enough. 
currently. This seems like a really bad way of playing the game. What is that? That looks very fancy. Okay, let's make sure we buy a thing here. Um, what are we buying this time? That, that's the one advantage we have, is that we've got, like, absurd amounts of money coming through at any given time. Or at least as much as that we, as much as we can have. 100 gold a day? Don't mind if I did. I'll take whatever I can get at this point. Okay. So we'll do an end turn. Oh my fuck. They're back. Uh, <laughs> oh my Jesus. What do I do about that? Like nothing. Uh, I, I guess I could try to kill something, but the answer is nothing is dying. All right. Air blast them. Spam spells. I, I guess. I guess that is the play. Alright, well, th this is it. This is for all the marbles. Um, let's make sure that we have these guys out. These guys are our front line. Can I just have everything fielded, or as much fielded as possible? Looks like it. Okay. This looks fine. The giant crabs are freaking me out. Okay, we're just in air right now. Minimize effects enemy units uh, of 5 plus power shrinks them down, reducing their strength significantly. That seems like it would be really good there. Just weakening their, their two biggest units. Okay. And then we'll heavy air bomb. Like here. Because their back line's most important to mess up. Don't be afraid of spamming spells. I am. I'm trying to do that more this time. Just like using things off rotation. And hopefully that'll help. Oh my. They're 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 backlining us. Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh not liking the look of these guys spawning in. Don't make me go up again. Alright, I, I I appreciate it there, Lolik. I'll catch you later. I don't know what all these guys are. They're they're terrifying. That's what they are. Okay. Let's just keep them busy. Keep them away from my Yotuns. The Yotuns need to keep their range. And they, they'll do, like, really excellent damage. Hey, we did it! We actually won! Okay. Done. We need extra movement. Gives movement boost after combat and allows seeing further. So mo movement seems really important to me, so I'll, I'll grab that. Especially with how this has been playing. So I need to get all this stuff back these little shits these little shits okay split these guys and i think i'd like to see more of these on the field all right and we'll get those scaling just murder them Oh my god, the damage. <laughs> They're all, like, trying to insta-lethal him. Okay. Good. Alright, so that that's nice, but we need to recapture everything. Okay. what What is that? Hunt, Hunter's Curus. Cool. We need to retake the mines. Dude, this struggle has been real. Like, I've, I've got one really big, strong army, but I'm just getting outpaced by my opponent right now. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna retake this stuff, and... Oh my god, what are they doing? Not like this, dude. Okay, I just wanna retake my, my stuff. These are mine.
I feel like I have to run back to my city right now, but I'm, I'm not going to. I don't have anything in there to lose, really. Okay. So I guess we'll we'll buy our town, or buy a thing from our town. The one boat makes me nervous. They're just sailing there menacingly. Yeah, it's only a matter of time until they're going to come mess us up or something. Okay, Aether Forge seems good. Mysterious red orb... Uh, obulus. Strange. Strange. I wonder what that does. There's nothing in my city. Just take it. Just take it. Run away! Run away! No! Nah. <laughs> He's frozen. <laughs> they murdered the shit out of him. That was incredibly rude. Okay. Um... I, I can't do the thing. I can't get any of the fireballers. Am I going to lose if I don't make it back to the city? I Can I town portal? Fuck, should I have town portaled before? Probably, is the answer. Uh, Can I town portal if I don't have a town? The answer is no. Oh wait, the answer is yes. Town portal. Do it. Do it. Oh, it needs to be owned. Okay, so I, I don't own it anymore. So I can't town portal. Frick! Alright. I'm really bad at these sort of games. I th th This falls in line with, like, grand strategy sort of thing. And I, I just can never wrap my head around them. Okay, it's my town now. And we should be able to create some new units. No, it's not the end of the week. Never mind. But I could buy some more stuff. So let's do that. Okay. So we needed five of these. To get the fireballers, which I definitely want. Oh, they left some gold here for me. That's nice. See, my opponents aren't complete assholes. I mean, they definitely are, but, you know... I don't think it's intentionally. I think it's just that they have to be. Get the Mercenary Hall. And from the Mercenary Hall, I can get Entombed or I can get Blight Stinger. More Flyers would be good. But some Large Lads with Warding sounds pretty strong too. I guess we'll just grab like a couple of them. So those are dirt cheap. All right. Are they just going to come back immediately and try to ruin everything for me? Probably. Oh, they're still in here, in the back here. Just messing with me. Okay. Just run back over this way. I guess we can kill these guys. They're, they're just going to keep coming back, aren't they? The worst part is, is they're, they're getting closer and closer to being, like, around my level. Which means that uh, I'm probably going to start struggling with them. Okay, as for upgrades, we, we just need to, like, go down this path, I suppose. We'll get the upgraded palace. Improves quality of artifacts. Gives a, a medium amount of gold or wood, crystal mercury, and sulfur once per week. Get plus one luck on all current heroes and future heroes. I, I feel like the, the more stuff is, is good enough. We can, we can probably make good use of that. Oh my god, they're boating. The bastards. Okay. So, let's just build all our dudes. And I I think I'll put this on a, a, a mercenary, so that way I can have two guys doing stuff. Because I'm definitely feeling like I'm, I'm just not playing this video game correctly right now. That's how it feels. Go to the tavern, buy whoever the fuck this weirdo is. I don't know what that is, but it's creeping me out a lot but they're mine now so sounds good okay so what's what's their they they, they just kind of crush huh okay 
I'm gonna handle... Oh, what is that? I don't know what that is, but it looks cool. It's just a heavy sword, I guess. Okay, so I, I'm gonna send this over this way. And we're going to focus on the tower up here, hopefully. Because that should be easy. I'm surprised we got in range for this. Hand Servant. They evolve? That sounds cool. Uh... Okay, so we've got some ranged, we've got some melee. Got like a decent little mix. That mind melter is spooking the shit out of me. We're gonna we're gonna have to kill that, hopefully. Ice bolt. Deal damage to several enemies and slows them. These things are the, the scary ones, so we'll, we'll do that damage there. Maybe that was unnecessary. Oh my. Are they creating leeches or something? What are those? That's really weird. Okay, I, th I think we're winning this. It's taking a surprising amount of time, though. That's for certain. Yeah, we, we got him. That said, I think this is going to be the, the last bit of this game I play uh, for now on stream. Uh, I'd like to move on to the next game here. We, we've been playing for a good two hours. Uh, hopefully that, that'll satiate you there for a while there, Splatter Cake. Uh, th thank you once again. It's a pretty fun game. I'm not sure if it's a good stream game, though. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd love to know chat's opinion. There's There seems to be, like, a couple people that are excited about it. But, yeah, it's it's a pretty slow-paced game for the most part, seemingly. Um, let's go ahead and jump on to BRB, and then we'll do some Mechabellum. Uh, let's go ahead and... Was there a save? Yeah, here we go. Save game. And quit. And we'll jump onto this screen for the time being, throw on some music, and we will swap over to some Mechabellum here in a moment here. Let me just go ahead and swap over. Mechabellum. Here we go. Can I breach top 200 worldwide today? Maybe. Go with one of those. All right, be right back, chat.
Alrighty, I'm back. It's time for some Mechabellum. Let's do it. I'm excited. Excited for some more Mechabellum. Hopefully you all are too. Went to the washroom, where did I go? The washroom. Different washroom, but same idea. Uh, let's do one of these. That's good. And we'll go to my audio, turn that down there. All right, let's get in there. We are currently combat power of 26,383. We are ranked 210 within the division leaderboard. So we're just off the division leaderboard. And uh, worldwide, we are rank 536. Um, we're closing in. I got to get my MMR up. And I got to get my combat power up. You haven't won a game of Hunt Showdown in a week, but you've been getting six kills a game. I think you're playing too aggressively, Horatio. You should set up a perimeter and hold it. You'll probably win more. Also, know when to just leave. You know, if you killed like three people and killed a monster and then killed two more people, don't go out, don't go to the other monster. It's one of those. It's very much one of those. All right, here we go. We are closing in on top 200. Remember that I don't care about losing or winning. I only care about getting better. So if I lose, so be it. If I win, even better. Uh, heavy mar heavy uh, armor spec with Marksman and Mustang is a pretty nice start. And uh, we're going to really like having some tanks in the long run here. Uh, I, I like um, I like Mustangs for chaff quite a lot. I think they're pretty good chaff. And we, I like putting them on the flanks there, so that way they can deal with any future flanks. The, these snipers are going to be pretty far back compared to normal. Because uh, my opponent is pretty likely to position aggressively, I think. Uh, will it be more streamable when you get better at the game and have crazy stuff like necromancy and eating dragons for power? Maybe, Splata. It might be one of those where I, I just need to develop my skills a little more. Um, so, if I were my opponent, I would probably just go more fangs. I'm going to buy some arc lights in the hopes that I can handle the stuff. I'm, I'm going to put these pretty close by here. Yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those things where I try to gauge the 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 stream reaction from people. It didn't seem like there were like they, there's definitely some people interested, but I don't know. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Splata could be a game that I end up playing more in the future. But generally, I try to seek games that already have an audience, because if I'm only bringing my audience to to see a game, then I have no way of growing. Uh, the, the thing that you need to keep in mind is that this is, uh, as much as this is like my hobby and I love it, uh, it's also my job and how I make a living. So that that's a bit of a thing to think of. Alright, um, my positioning looks like it's pretty favorable against his. I'm gonna be able to blow through their, uh, their fangs rather quickly. And uh, hopefully I will then be able to start focusing on their tanks right away. That's looking pretty good. The crawlers on the right are pretty monka. Yeah, that's really bad. They're gonna rip through my tower. We're probably going to lose because of that sneaky crawler set on the far right. My, uh... My dude was not strong enough to handle that. We, we might be able... Oh my god. I don't know how, but my arc light actually died. That's unfortunate. See what we can do here. Um, heavy Mustang would be pretty nice, but deployment specialist is very, very strong, and I'm up against a, I'm up against a uh, an elite specialist, so I, I think that I'm gonna be able to just kind of outrush them to some degree. So we we will probably try something along that line. And uh, right now they're pretty weak to crawlers, so I'm going to buy two pair of those. And that's going to help shore up my chaff. 
that's pretty darn nice. But elite spec, they, they can do some crazy stuff, but I'm, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so they're getting sledges. How do I want to deal with leveled sledges? That's the real question. These guys are going to be a menace. We, we could go into... We're heavy armor specialists, so like a fortress would be within the realm of reality. Leveled arcs? Leveled arc lights against leveled tanks, do you think, Dom? I feel like char a charge shot arc light isn't going to magically beat tanks. Is the, the main issue here. What would I throw here? I, I could, um... I, I could invest in... Hackers, maybe. To steal them. I could also invest in... Um... Like a fortress. Which would blow through them pretty rapidly. And also heavy armor spec would make that pretty high value. God, I'm gonna lose on the, the right here to these... Or on the left here due to these, uh... These crawlers breaking through. I need to play more aggressively with the... Right, into Elite Specialist, I think. Elite Specialist has the, the weakness of not being able to handle stuff fast enough. So we should really be the ones aggressing. Speed up here seems really important. Heavy Arc Light seems crazy. Let's grab Heavy Arc Light. If we're gonna go into Arc Lights, we might as well have... Uh, some strong arc lights. Do that there. And uh, do I want some balls or a rhino? Rhino handles what they have pretty well. Um. Hmm. What else could I go for? The balls might be nice. Do they have... Ar they don't have armor-piercing rounds on their tanks, so... I feel like this is pretty reasonable. We'll do something along this line. Something like that. <laughs> so these will get in front. And that should hopefully work out well. Wow, they're going a lot more tanks. Okay. Fortress plus punch is looking really good. Casual fortress punching could be in order. Wasps. I mean, they've got a good amount of fangs, and if they start leveling their fangs, it's going to be nasty. Yeah, so they got their own sniper, which makes sense. Where did they put it? They put it over here. These mustangs are maybe closer to dead weight than I would like. Okay, so the, these guys are all getting massacred, which is great. But th this is some slow killing here, thanks to that arc light, just not paying attention to the right targets. And uh, now we're winning, or we're, we're losing on the right. The steel balls look like they're doing okay. Oh my god. Man. That my opponent is, is out-tempoing me with tanks of all things. That's surprising. I feel like tanks are normally pretty bad. Okay, so we did get the tower, which is great. What rank am I right now? Uh, I'm like 210 in the division, and I'm like 500-something worldwide. So we're, we're, we're pretty close to some of my objectives, but... You know, at the end of the day, my, my primary objective is just to get good, you know? It's one of those. Okay. Um, Heavy Stang has shown up again. I don't really like any of these. Gotta get better to be the best, that's exactly right. The only way to be the best is to be absurdly good. You know what? The, the barge is looking really strong. I'm realizing just how freaking silly it would be into all these tanks. So let's let's do one of those. And we'll we'll build up a shield over here. We can we can get ourselves a boat. How about that? Hmm. 
getting a little bit more support right here seems good. Mechanical Rage seems pretty likely. Yeah. Is as anticipated. That's really nice that we got the sniper on that side. We'll see how the boat does for damage. Yeah, it just kind of rips through them. Which is very nice. We'll see how this ends up looking. The left went so terribly. Holy shit. I think they auto lose because we've got the the airship. But god damn, we did not punch through the way we needed to on the, the left at all. So that's that's pretty monka. The arc lights are just not doing what they need to do. We should be able to stop the turret from dying, but I'm I'm wrong because <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> yeah. As long as we don't lose the shield, I'm okay. If I lose the shield, I'm pretty unhappy. Oh, I'm pretty unhappy. I mean, at least we won the round, you know. And our, our boat is definitely ready for a level up. The question is, do I get wasp spawn or do I go for something else? Not entirely certain yet. Okay, nuke is pretty bad for me. Incendiary module is quite decent into what they have. I'm not going to play around the nuke. Nobody buys nuke. Nobody buys nuke anyway. Going to take our levels and run with it. Um, I could get armor on my arc lights. I think what we should do is buy sticky bomb oil and do one of these. Something along this line. More boat. You think I should go more boat, huh? I'm not entirely sold on it, to be honest. Something along that line should work. I'm not too interested in trying to counter out these flanks. Uh, single arc... Oh, they disconnected. Uh, GG. <laughs> GG, I guess. That's unfortunate, but uh, I'll, I'll take it, I suppose. You scare people. I don't oh, think that's what it dude, is. Now now we're at 211. Are we at 211? No, we're, we're higher than that. Wait, what am I at? I'm at 26,831. That is not my, my PB. What the heck? That minus 1,000 yesterday was so bad, Dom. Look at that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I've ever gotten that. I, I've never gotten minus 1,000 before. Okay, Fang Sledge Giant Spec is pretty nice. I've seen some crazy Rhino shit going on recently. I want to get involved. I want to get involved in the crazy Rhino shit. Okay, my opponent started balls, which is just... Very annoying. As in the Magic the Gathering alias. Nah, I'm just some guy. Uh, let's do one of these. Cost control spec. We, we got, we got fangs. We're gonna use them. Do I want to go for like a more forward positioning? I think I do. Something like this is pretty spicy. I don't want them to be like that. So, some, something along this line. I want to. I want to try forward positioning, and um, I think the fangs will tank everything for long enough where I can just go arc lights, and these will cause some problems for my opponent. I'm gonna make sure to space these four apart so that way I've got room for a fortress to snug in there. And uh, it doesn't hurt. Like if if I want to go for Fang strats, I can I I have the ability by making sure that I've got four slots there. That's essentially the idea. I feel a little bit uncomfortable with these that close, so I'm gonna bring it a little bit further back. This isn't symmetrical, I'm aware, but that's fine. 
Doesn't need to be flawlessly symmetrical. You know the aliens he's talking about? Is there is there another pro? As it turns out, alias is just a pro gamer name. There's there's like a pro magic. There uh, there's a pro what? There, there's like a bunch of different um gamers that that go by alias. As it turns out, who would have thought? Okay, this is looking okay, except for the part where the the. Mustangs are putting in some pretty good work. What are you shooting at? Re. Okay, we are getting stacked down a little bit, but I'm I'm not too worried about that. Maybe I should be worried about that. We're gonna have rhinos, so it's it's fine. Everything is fine. There's only one alias. I'm happy to share my name. At one point, I wanted to be the only one, but after a while, I realized that that was kind of silly. And the point is that it's just kind of a dumb name. Just want to match with 56 HP left. That must feel good there, Smirk. Congrats. Mass-produced um, sledges is very interesting. I'm going to take the haste module for later. And... Um, I definitely want one more of these guys. Th these are going to be doing great work. And... We've defended a fight like this before. I feel like if we just go storm right here, we, we win the round. And then I can go from there. We should uh, definitely just throw some crawlers at them. There's no reason not to do that. It's important to stop the snowball early. So that's what we're going to do. Mass produce sledge with the armor is good versus Mustang spam. I'm facing steel balls. I'm not facing Mustang spam. If I if I do that, I will lose 100%. Um I'm thinking something along this line should be good. And the extra damage is going to be relevant. Okay. So they upgraded their stangs right away. We should just rip through all of their crawlers, which is nice. They've got a reasonably strong left side here as well. That's a that's a nice bomb for sure. Oh man. This is this is going to be nasty. I think we're yeah, we both killed Tower at the same time. Which is very awkward. I think we're gonna need lots of crawlers. That much is clear. But, um, charge shot on our, uh, our arc lights is gonna be big, too. Any Mustang kills we can get here are welcome. Oh, there's a single crawler! <laughs> the classic. The classic hero crawler. What a meme. Alright. We got our Rhino. Which is good. They got subsidized steel balls if they want it. Which is pretty terrifying. I'll go for it. And, uh... So long as they don't get... The... It, it, depending on what they get, we'll, we'll either be better off or worse off here. So I'm thinking that we just spin to win on them. And, um... We might as well take this free shot here. And I won't bother with the regen yet. So this get, wins me the round for free. And I think we just run this in. They've left a big open spot here. Is this game deterministic? What, what do you mean, Sitter? Elaborate on that. Like, is the RNG going to be the same every time? There is, uh, there is randomness. 
I mean, if you do the exact same round back to back, the same thing will happen each time. So I wouldn't count that as randomness, personally. Okay. Pretty big win this time around. Yeah, this this was a crushing round. That was good. My opponent lacks the ability to deal with some stuff, but most of the stuff we, we have to be concerned with. Incendiary is pretty fantastic along this line. They can't block it, and uh, I don't care if I lose my own crawlers. How you doing, Anx? Welcome on in. Good luck grinding today. Thank you. I hope it goes well. So far, so good. Um, let's get the charge shot bonus for extra damage on the arc lights. Is that worth it to try and kill these balls? Maybe. Um, I might as well just get another one of these guys going. And we'll get mobile beacon. Because I want them to just walk like this. Okay. More fangs. Seems okay. If you have the same turn state and run multiple times, does the exact same thing happen each time? Yes. A unless you're using an ability that has randomness. In which case, then it would play out differently. I guess we just hold on to the regen for now. They've got a hacker. Just that makes sense. Got the the early bust again, which is great. I didn't get the spin that I wanted, so they're gonna steal my rhino. But it's it's gonna die to burn damage probably. Yeah. Very nice. So far, so good. Looks like we're just punching through for the most part. Alright. I'm thinking we redirect this Rhino. Top supply spec is just an auto take, as far as I'm concerned. We're running this guy over here. There we go. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. You can get a level up. Mecha Rage is an interesting call. These guys aren't going to do anything to stop my, uh, my crawlers, so that's good. What's the MMR status? We're at 1,600, closing in on 1,700, I do believe. Somewhere around that line. Um, damage up here is going to be really good. We, we might as well just take that at this point. And, um, we have our... Yeah, we have our damage, so that's good. We got some stuff going. I'll, uh... I don't want to put regen down on that guy because he's going to get stolen, like, 99% of the time. Okay. Looks to me like I'm just getting another free tower. Which works for me. I think it was a mistake sending my rhino away. I assumed that they would have countered this Rhino by now, but they didn't, for whatever odd reason. So I, I guess that's a net positive for me, for sure. But uh, he is just dead due to my own poor choices. Bright side, right Rhino is doing some work. They're flanking my back left. I didn't notice that until just now. But it looks like we're winning the round. But we are losing our other Rhino. Just one versus Endozoa, uh, versus Salt Melting, uh, point of all things. Bit shaky after that. That's crazy, Onks. Congratulations. It's no small feat winning against Endozoa. It's one of those things where, um, you, you do have to just realize that no matter how good somebody is, um, you are playing the same video game. It's a bit of a thing. That's for sure. Have, uh, mobilized battleship is cracked here, and it could be a gut shot. We'll, we'll try.
try this out this time. And we'll get Mecha Rage for the speed. We'll dump this right here. And I would love to get another boat. That's good. And we'll, we'll be able to deal with that back line easily enough. I'm happy to just have the boat way back there. That's acceptable. We'll put the uh, regen on there. All right. Um, should I... I'm going to buy speed. And I'll even buy range this turn. Actually, will I buy range? Maybe I just go for some missiles. Eh... Uh, Hmm. I think just some emergency, a mis an emergency missile on that side plus range is fine. We're definitely overdrawing just for the hope of winning on the, the, the entire game. We'll see if that works out that way. Okay, we did break the hack, uh, the hack there, which is great. This rhino made it. Nice. Okay, they're, they're not getting the hack. That's for certain. Oh, huge spin. Huge spin. Incredible spin right there. That rhino just put in some work. All right, we're, we're winning the round for sure. I, th I think that's it for them. The, the rhinos were just a little too fast. GG. Good match. The the ball stacking it it they they just never ever dealt with my um they never dealt with my one side they never dealt with m my storms just raining down on them every single round that I I was basically getting free rounds from that which was all obviously ideal look at that we're up to twenty seven thousand now um where's where's that put us on the leaderboard let's take a look we are now. We made it! We made it onto the division leaderboard! Pog! 154! And world le world leaderboard? We're 403. So we still got a, a bit of distance to cover, but we're we're closing in. Dom, I'm gonna have to make a Smurf account to keep playing with you. <laughs> just kidding. I'll just drop my 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 score. It's fine. Um I mean, who says we'd ever lose, right? I feel like we have an absurd win right, to be honest. I'm gonna have to drop you to my level. <laughs> okay. Let's let's send it. Keep her going. My opponent is uh fifteen hundred MMR. We're closing in on seventeen hundred, which is great. My MMR has been like going up pretty quickly recently. It's nice. I definitely feel like I'm winning a lot more than I'm losing at this point. I hit kind of that break point. Steel Ball Fang Elite Spec is hilarious. Um, Giant Spec with Phoenix start is kind of cute. This is dumb. This is a really dumb start. Um, I like all of these. I really do. I think these are all great starts. I think this opens into... Th this This has potential for some funny, though. My opponent's cool and actually went Sledge Arclight, which is the least offensive unit start ever, but I, I guess he does have heavy armor, which makes it a little bit scarier to, de to deal with, that's for sure. I feel like this is the least scary start of units you could pick. But if I had to, like, think of uh, a unit combination, that would probably be it. <laughs> Okay, we're, pro we're probably going to go um, crawlers, even though they are going to get chewed up by all that. I guess we could... Yeah, no, we, we want the chaff. The chaff is important. Uh, we, we need it to defend for when they get snipers, because they probably should get snipers with that setup. But, um, let's see. That, like, here-ish. That's a little too close for my liking. There we go. Uh, HFGL. How, how you like them apples? Hit them with a the mix-up. Why can't I put it perfectly in the H? 
Map sucks. New map, please. <laughs> what in the world? You see that? We're, he's already off his game. We already messed him up. He's not ready. Okay, so they did go snipers as anticipated. And uh, our crawlers will be there to salvage the situation. Which is very nice. Flipping the script on him. You know it. You know it. The tanks tanking is is just messed up that's terrifying we're, we're losing this round they're they're too bulky they're too tonky for me the the heavy armor really put in the work there but that's okay giant spec baby turn two fortress or do we get tech spec? Tech spec is pretty good. Underground threat messes with them pretty hard too. I'm, I'm going to go with the tech spec. And yeah, I just didn't do enough damage to them. So how do I, how do I improve that? I, I just need like a little bit more poke almost. I could go in for like a flank. I don't hate the early flanking potential here. Maybe like a sniper crawler. Oh, what if what if we go fangs? Hear me out. We could we could go more phoenix for now. And I want this guy defended. And I I think we'll probably go for there's no real flanking potential there. Something like that looks fine. I, I think a missile will hit really hard right here. That should be good. And they shield it on the, the left. Yeah, that was good. I'm going to say that's probably worth That worked out well. I think we're going to win this round, and we're probably going to take the shield as well. Which means that we go very net positive in this fight, that's for certain. Yeah, this is really good. That worked out extremely well. The position of their units on the, the right, they were just a little too close together. That's one of the things that I'm, I'm trying to think of more and more as I play this game. That's Anakin, right? No, look, that's Luke. That's Luke. What am I saying? I the, the missile. I, I missled their right side. They they tried to stop a missile on the left side, and it didn't work. Thank you for the eight months, by the way. Who cares? I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my opponent doesn't really get that messed up by underground threat. How about me? They they slow me down a bunch if they do that, but. I think we'll just take the crawler upgrade. I don't know if it'll ever happen, but it's probably worth having. And, uh... I really like a, a fortress on the right side here. I think that's fine. Do I want to do a fortress flank? It's kind of funny. It's kind of cute. I don't... Th let's not. Let's not do that. <laughs> Let's not get that weird yet. Um, okay. Health. Attack. Health. What did they go for? They bought an extra guy. They bought a whole extra dude. Okay. Thank goodness our uh, center arc light is finally coming into play. Looks like our ships, our airships, are, are doing the things they need to. I think we may win off of Fortress alone in the end here. We'll see. These fangs are in great a great spot to tank for us, which I'm pretty pleased about. They don't really have any minor units. All of their units are like... Uh, kind of a, a more significant unit. Okay, so we are winning by a fortress. 
Bum, 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 bum. Here we go. Here he comes. Fortress pouch. Pretty good. Pretty good. Heavy arc light, lightning storm. Lightning storm is just really awful to fight. I certainly one wouldn't want to fight a lightning storm here. So let's do it. Their left side has been babied a little bit. Um, do I buy shield or do I go for the paunch? I kind of want to go mass phoenix this game. That just feels right. So I think that's what we'll do. More phoenix seems good. And eventually we'll transition into, um... They got arc light range. Interesting. Okay. They're blowing up my middle so they can kill my arc light in the center. And they did buy the lightning storm. That's interesting. I was kind of expecting them not to. I feel like not too many purchase a uh, lightning storm. These days, at least. It's just very strong, you know? It does a lot of damage. Like, they, they have nothing but a, a single sniper left alive. Which is pretty absurd. The snipers, do they have range? They do. Noted. Thankfully, their arc lights are too busy shooting at my, uh, my fortress to notice that they're being murdered by crawlers. Got them. Okay. This is a, a clean sweep this time. This worked out really well. This is one of the benefits of having um, high HP units as they survive these sort of attacks really well. Okay. The question is, do I want to put a fortress on my left? And I think the answer is yes, that's a heavy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's a super heavy. Don't mind if I did. I'm buying shields here. And I'll put that over here. I, I feel like the super heavy belongs on this side. Because he's going to level up faster. I might put this one a little further back. And... We'll get the sniper unlock. I don't know if I'm going to go into snipers, but it's good to have. And we might start leveling fangs as well. I could see myself getting a wave of level 2 fangs. They got MP with range. Why not put the the MP closer to midfield? Because then more snipers are going to be focused on my MP, uh, on my fortress, which is really not what I want. And it's the opposite of what I'm after. Okay, looks like we're going to be gunning down that um, melting point, hopefully, with my uh, my air. Please, hurry, hurry! Yes. Huge, huge win. My Phoenix could use some extra sauce, I think. But the fortresses are definitely doing their thing. They're, they're buying a lot of uh, tech. Which is tempting to just beat out entirely. Okay, we've got our upgrade over here. I think we get more fangs with range. Like this. We're gonna try and defend this guy more. Is there a way to have the flying, like, keep stra strafing around? No, I can't have the fl- kind of, but not really, is the, the answer, I guess. Okay, so I could buy, like, a whole nother unit. Or I could get an upgrade. The upgrades on these crawlers are free. More crawlers sound pretty sick here. Hmm. I've, I've got a lot of things that I... You know, I should definitely upgrade these guys to have uh, elite range. And... We'll grab our attack now. Is this last round? It's based on health at all. Uh, entirely. That's the only thing it's based on. It's gonna be faster now. 
So basically, the, the, the we, you could have an infinite amount of rounds. It's just based on how much health you have. Okay, we got a we got these long range fangs at a really good time because they bought a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, wasps, which hopefully I'll be able to deal with pretty effectively with the fangs. Okay, it looks like the left side's winning pretty heavily. The right side is is still very questionable. But as long as I have the melting point distracted, we, we could do it, I think. That's a that's a pretty big uh, W. Oh my goodness. <laughs> MP aggro was pretty bad. Uh, bangs were too juicy. The the juiciest of fangs. GG. You got, you got, yeah, but <laughs> he was completely addicted to fangs. That was just it was just unlucky on his side, to be honest. But I, I think like my fang placement kind of encouraged it. Um Alright. Now now where are we? I I feel silly checking every game, but like I feel like I'm about to I feel like I'm playing only up or like Beton Brutal or, or Jump King or whatever. And right now I'm I'm like jumping up and I'm almost up at the top and I'm just gonna fucking fall at some point. <laughs> That's how it feels. That's how it feels right now. So I'm like, oh what's my top what's my where am I at now? You know? It's that's very much how it feels right now. Where am I here? 134 divisional hog. I really gotta get my MMR up. My MMR is pretty low compared to everybody else's. My combat power is really high compared to my MMR. I don't know what that means. Make it to top uh, 100 and bam, rank 2500. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's... <laughs> I feel like that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, man. We're kind of cruising, though. Okay, my opponent has 1700 MMR, which is uh, juicy. I'd love to take some of that. I want to get I want to get uh, all of the MMR ideally. Just take everybody else's for my own. Uh, we've got elite spec. We've got a nice looking supply spec. Cost control is the exact same setup we had last game. Um, that marksman spec seems pretty okay as well. I I don't like marksman spec very much. I think that's one of my least favorites. I'm gonna go with the cost control, because, uh, I'm addicted to having the high health for some reason. Oh, Nelly. Since they're balls, I'm gonna put my arc lights on the, the inside rather than on the outside. Am I gonna do that? Maybe I won't. I'm gonna double stack my phoenix to a side, though. We'll do, um, do this. And crawlers, perhaps. Crawlers are looking pretty good here. Fangs are also not bad. I could take a lot more space with fangs. They're quick supply spec, so... We could be seeing extra balls. We just need to defend our, um... Our arcs as much as possible. I think, uh... The, craw the crawlers are just... They're just so consistent. They do exactly what I want every time. The fangs, they can they can get weird. Which is not what I want from a unit. I'd like my unit to be consistent. I, I think fangs are good, but... You just have to use them a little differently. Slowing my opponent down... Would be ideal. Even if this only hits a couple crawlers, I'm okay with that. They want fangs. They're going for a really defensive formation. I'm actually relieved by this. It seems really, really not that bad. So we're going to take out a group of level 2 fangs, which is pretty nice. Didn't kill all of them, but it killed quite a lot of them. And it looks like the steel balls are going to lock onto my arc lights right away on the, the sides. Oh, maybe not. Nice. That actually worked out really well. Um... Yeah, this is looking pretty good targeting-wise. 
The fangs on the the left are pretty monka. Yeah, they're they're terrifying. <laughs> Those fangs are really scary. Things went super well. This is honestly as as well as I could have hoped. How, how are the level up coming for these steel balls? They're they're pretty close, but they're they're not there yet. None of my units are gonna. I guess this arc light's ready. I'm definitely gonna want uh, to level my arc lights. The question is, do I want to go for early Vulcans? Because early Vulcans can kind of stop balls in their tracks and prevent them from leveling. And right now, Vulcan beats their entire team. So I, I kind of like that play a lot. Um, haste module is kind of nice. Redeployment seems pretty helpful. I'm going to grab redeployment. And uh, I can't level this arc light if I want to go Vulcan. And I really think Vulcan's great here. Vulcan's going to be super duper nice. Uh, it's going to melt all these guys in the middle. And um, if I can get them to like funnel into my Vulcan like that, that would be ideal. So I'm, I'm welcoming them with uh, a forward position. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and redeploy these guys over here. That way uh, I've got a little bit more even siding for now. And may maybe we'll continue to adjust as we go. But uh, for now, that seems really good. They got a haste module, which I would imagine is going on to a steel ball set, potentially. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this early Vulcan, because stopping what they have early is going to be really important. Because I do not want to have to deal with um, a bunch of terrifying fangs running me down. That's just not something that I, I want to do. And Vulcan Phoenix is a, a classic match or a classic combination because I can set the world on fire and then be relatively safe doing so. See how the Yeah, so the arc lights are getting balled down, sadly. But it's it's not too bad. The damage coming out here onto the Vulcan is pretty significant. Okay, looks like we did win on the uh, the right side, but somehow we actually le lost on the left side. Kind of surprised by that. I guess that was the haste module at play. Haste module was pretty strong there. Looks like we've got a, a decent chunk of units going over to mess up stuff. We're going to need range for sure on our Vulcan. That's that's looking pretty important. Um, barrier here is just a no-brainer. But Arclight and Tele... Oh, man, these are all great. Uh... What's your WW today? What's what's that stand for, Dutchy? Welcome on in. What does WW stand for in this instance? Maybe amp core is better. This doesn't scale, right? Worldwide rank. Um, I think we're like at 300 right now. 300 something. So we're we're closing in. I think the amp core here goes crazy. Nice. Yeah, we're we're cruising. We be cruising. Um. Hmm. These these guys are a menace. I think we just buy some extra chaff, and we we set it up here. Looking back at this play, I immediately regret it. I should have gone for fangs instead. That would have made way more sense in this instance. They are probably going to counter with um, some damage output. I could adjust the location of my Vulcan. I'm going to do that. I'm anticipating them to plan around what I'm doing. How you doing, Mevo? Match is going well? I haven't lost yet, so I would say yes. They are going quite well. Got some backline wasps spawning in here. Which is a little alarming. They're gonna get my tower 100%. I don't have enough anti-air to handle that. This is gonna get nasty, I think. I don't know what you're shooting at! Oh my god. They're gonna make me get storms, which is fucked up, because I... I was hoping to do Vulcan instead of Storm. Doing well here at 3 a.m. Just have had coffee. Trying to get work done. Nice. I mean, that that's pretty late for, for work. Hopefully that's all right with you. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how the day continues. 
was a pretty rough one there. Defensive training is great, obviously. I'll just go ahead and upgrade now. Without thought. And, um... Yeah, I, I need the storms, sadly. They're gonna put down bubbles. I gotta do something about it. A couple of storms is exactly how I want to counter that. They've got some defense down on their side. I think some backline fangs would be pretty good. I'm, I'm just gonna put them to cover the flanks. They're base. I'm gonna try using them like cheap Mustangs. I saw this the other day, Trinet was using uh, fangs to cover flanks, and like, they, they'd show up after all the fire was gone sort of thing with long range to beat the wasps. And I really liked that, so I'm gonna try that out myself. And uh, it looks like there's a little bit more sauce to be had on this side, but I think we're just gonna have to let it ride. I am going to put down a missile on my guy, though, because I'm a little afraid for his well-being. Okay. Let's hope that I can burst through this shield a little bit faster than usual. That that missile looks like it's going to hit beautifully. That was great. Fantastic. The right side's looking a little iffy at this point. Th those balls are getting a little out of control as well. I'm gonna need to get my scorching shot on my, um, my Vulcan so that way I can actually take out balls with what I'm using. But this actually went really well. I'm pretty happy with this. Especially since I'm taking, uh, their missiles with me here. That really amplifies the win. This was super nice. This was a, a good round for me. The storms were an excellent call. That, uh, look at that damage. We're pumping it now. All right, incendiary bomb. Very solid. Uh, underground threat is also fine. I could just underground threat to stall their balls for a really long time. They've got a lot of tiny stuff. Hmm. I feel like they should be going into more air soon. This is a tough call. I don't think tech spec is worth it here. I'm gonna go for this, and the extra damage here is actually really big. Like that a lot. Grab this. He may spam balls. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that's why I should buy uh, Scorching Flames, so that way I can actually beat balls with them, with those. And at this point, I just need to kind of stall on this side a little bit more than I currently am. So uh, I'll get these side fangs that I've been rocking. Because th this is just like a little bit of anti-air support. And it's going to help against the wasp swarms that are going to be coming in the near future. So that, that makes a lot of sense to me. And uh, we're going to slap this up in this corner. Eat the missile. And, uh, you know, hopefully that'll be pretty helpful. And uh, at this point, I'm feeling comfortable enough to put this guy back in the middle. And go straight back there. And, um... May maybe some fang support toward the middle as well. I'm, I'm really... I want to experiment more with, uh, like, midline fangs. I, I think that they might be pretty good. Oh my god, I didn't get a chance to move them because I'm too slow. They, uh, they built a lot of guys on that side. In this side over here. We should have the, an easy time dealing with them overall. We'll see. Okay, everything's dealt with over there. Let's see how the balls get scorched. Yeah, that looks really good. That looks like it does work. Okay, hopefully they don't get that tower. Oh my god, they got it. <laughs> it's such a shame. I'm pretty sure that we win because my Vulcan's just gonna beat everything in theory we'll see we need to stop being slow there we go so they did deal with that Let, let's see how this goes Vulcan into ball Vulcan wins alright in, in case you were wondering Vulcan beats ball Pog 
Exceedingly pog. Uh, laser sight would be pretty funny, but I don't have... I guess I could get another Vulcan going, maybe. And that would probably make my life even easier than it already is, so let's do that. Let's get another... We'll, we'll have two level three Vulcans. Um... <laughs> that that seems kind of fucked up, doesn't it? This seems pretty fucked up. Alright. And I'm gonna put this guy over here-ish now. And... That'll help with this flank. I'm gonna put some crawlers over here because he's seeming to like these corners quite a bit. Am I going to be able to handle this fine? Yeah, th this Vulcan's going to rip through that. No problem. Let's do this and um... You know what? He's almost dead. Let's get extra range and we'll, uh, we'll place down some shields for our boys. Something like that. Alright. Let's see if we just win here. They did put down the shield. I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with that fortress in time. Oh, fuck. Yeah, the double shield is good. The double shield was very good. I should have had uh, a storm caller ready for it. That is, that is some feed right there. But hopefully we're going to be okay. I think we might win anyway. This is looking pretty winnable. It really depends on when this Vulcan decides to turn. Yeah, this is this is this is a winning position, right? Level three Vulcan with Scorch is, is gonna beat the the dude. Yeah, this is this is this is probably a win. Especially if I, I, I two Phoenix plus Vulcan is six hundred damage. I just need one other thing to live. Yeah, this is GG. We got him. That was a good attempt with the flank, but um, it wasn't quite enough. Nice, dude. We, I I don't know what's what's gotten into me. I I actually don't know what's going on. It feels like my opponents aren't playing as well, but maybe it's just I'm playing so much better than I was before. Now, I, <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> it feels weird. <laughs> You haven't fought me yet. God. Top 100 soon, Pog. Yeah, we are top 117 divisionally. And worldwide, we are 306. So we're we're getting there. The worldwide, it's going to take me a while to get into top 200. Because it's 2,000. MMR. 29,000 combat power. I guess the combat power is what we're going for. You're 800 now. You're on your way. Oh, you're coming for me, Dutchie. Oh, nice. We're, we're pretty close, then. I've been casually watching Muted. Do you even lose anymore? Sometimes. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I, I swear today is just a, a weird... Listen, I have been, like, living this game since it's 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 been what 20 days now i got it on the 27th and it's the 17th now is that is that how math works we're we're approaching a decent level of mastery like i'm i'm not as good as the people who've been playing for months or or, or even a year for that matter You're really good for being so new i mean I have more hours than so many people because I've, I've literally just turned this game into my day job. Like, I have 163 hours, and I've, I've just been absorbing every little piece of knowledge like a sponge. Uh, but we are on uh, one, two, three, four, five game win streak, but uh, four of them are today. I, I played this one earlier today, this morning. This, w this was me playing around with Dom, <laughs> and we lost in twos. <laughs> It's such a, such a rip. It's okay though, cause you know, Dom and I, we we uh we do pretty well for ourselves. All right, let's keep her going. 
Let's keep it moving. I might do a little bit of a shorter stream today. Maybe we'll we'll call it at around 7. Ooh, Arbiter's back up at the top. Look at that. The fact that the combat power is scaling like it is, is really interesting. I wonder why it is scaling so hard. It makes me wonder. Those beads of silica gel uh, have way more absorbency than a sponge. Just saying. Are you saying that I'm a silica absorbent gel thing? Is that what you're saying? You cracked the, the combat power code. What, what is the code? What, what is it? What is What are they talking about in, in the chat? Oh. Okay, we got uh, 1,726,000 combat power. Here we go. Silica-based life form. Ha! Ha! Do you think uh, more water passes through a sponge in its lifetime or through a human? Like, sponges are a lot smaller than, than a human. But I could see the... You know, sponge lives in water and is, like, meant to filter water, right? So you'd, you'd think the answer would probably be sponge. But I'm not entirely sold on that. I'm gonna do rhino spec, because 4,000 health, steel, steel ball fang, rhino sounds aggressive as all hell. Humans are mostly water. Yeah, I mean... that That's why it's an interesting question, you know? Uh, okay, so we've got giant spec... He's, he's gonna really struggle to... We're, we're gonna flank the shit out of him, I think. Passes through sponges. Is sponge a filter feeder? I don't know if sponge is a filter feeder. Okay, remember... Four slots. We, we need fortress distance here. And... I'll do a little bit of this on the sides. I don't go the full distance here. Do they just grab water that funnels through a coral tube? I... What? <laughs> what are you talking about, Arcaris? <laughs> what you just said makes, like, zero sense. <laughs> okay. Um, definitely, definitely arc light me. And... Maybe this? Is that gonna get me blown up? Maybe. I'm trying not to get exploded. This is a very wide pattern. This is, this is interesting. Normally people just stack aside. Next turn I flank the hell out of him, I think. Okay then, we are, we are both doing this then. I think I win because Arclight. <laughs> this is a thing. Have I seen Way of Water yet? What is Way of Water? Oh, is that Avatar? Yeah, I saw that one. That was the Avatar 2. Yeah. I saw Avatar 2. It was, uh... Why did they pick the same guy? Hear me out. Why, why did they go... You know what? The, the general was a bit of a shitter. He got himself killed and nobody liked him. But we got it. We got his like body backed up and all that. Or we, we got his brain backed up. Let's just send him in for round two. Like who who authorized that? Who thought that was a good idea? There's no way anybody was like, hmm, hmm, yes, I, I think we should let him go again. Just give him another go at it. It'll be fine. There's no way my opponent doesn't go heavy hacker here and I'm gonna get really sad. Hmm. Do I do I wasp flank? I think I wasp flank. We we just flank the shit out of him with wasps. I'll put I'll put one on each side. That way it's more annoying to deal with. And we can just start selling these for money. I think we should do that like turn one. And then we can uh Mass recruit another one. That's plus 50 gold right there, baby! Economy! Did you know that this game is actually an economy game? Because now you do. Um. 
Combat power means how well a player is doing in their given MMR rank, right? I don't know. I don't know the, the algorithm or anything like that. Also, I'm just now realizing my webcam should be up here, so that way you guys can see the units. There you go. The the actor slash voice actor is pretty cool. It, okay, that's fair. He, he was a good voice actor, but also, I, I'm just trying to point out the, <laughs> the weirdness that was involved there. Okay, they do they did buy a hacker, which is very expected and very not great for me cuz they're going to steal my balls, which is not great. Are we going to win anyway? I'm not sure if we win this. I think we win this. Pretty sure we win this. Uh, you just split 20 units into two rows of 10. Can you separate your units uh, if they're... Uh... No, no. They, I bought two sets of units. Which is why it looked like that happened, Arcaris. What you're thinking happened is not what actually happened. Somebody latch on to him. My balls! We're gonna have to sell all of our balls. The balls are 100% getting sold. They're just so trash into Hacker. You hadn't seen it anywhere else? Yeah. No, that, that'd that be crazy, Arcaris, if you could split your units like that. Okay. We'll redeploy. And uh, just do this. Okay. We'll do uh, a little buy me, sell me. Let's go ahead and just do one of these. Mobile beacon. There we go. And I, I think some more arc lights on this side would be good. But the other thing that would be good would be uh, storm collars. So let's get some storms. We're going to want a lot of these, probably. And I'm probably going to get firestorm as well. This, sh this should be pretty good. I'm gonna put this down here. All right. But yeah, I, I thought um, the Avatar movie was fun. It was it was pretty cool. Lots of really impressive water, obviously. And what's more important than that? Okay. I think we're winning these. I don't really have the best AoE right now, which is the main problem. Yeah, it was very pretty. There's some interesting scenes, too. The hyper-intelligent uh, Whalians were really neat. No, my balls! Punch him! Yeah! Yeah, punch him. All right. I think we lose these. We didn't have the the AoE. Oh, maybe we do win these. There we go. Favorite scene is the punch scene. What is the punch scene? Uh, orbital javelin hits pretty hard here. It's pretty darn good. I almost think it would be cooler if they uh, made a fake nature documentary instead of trying to tell a story. I agree. I think there's a lot of people who are uh, on that line with the Ocaliuresis. Okay. Uh, we want fire storms for sure. That's going to mess them up insanely hard. And I'm happy to have them way back here. Do I Mecha Rage here? Or... Do I just build some frontline firestorms? I think we just build some frontline firestorms. <laughs> this, this shit should be dumb. And... I think this should be okay. Let, let's, let's bring you over here. 
and we'll, we'll bring that into the back line. I'm definitely trying to just giga brain on my opponent here as hard as I humanly can. We'll see if it works. It looks like they're gonna get kind of bodied, but I'm not entirely sold yet. We'll see. They do have some pretty strong fangs. The firestorm! Yes! Yes! Crawler flank? I mean, maybe. I don't think it's necessary. All right. Not bad. James Cameron has directed a, four of my all-time favorite movies, and he uses the movies to fund his deep-sea diving as a hobby. Yeah, he's a, he's a weirdo, but also, like, really cool. Yeah, the build does do damage. How is Bard doing, by the way? I, I haven't uh, spoken to him in a while. Hopefully he's doing good. I think it would make more sense for me to just have some crawlers here. To, to destroy them. But let's uh let's sell you for money. And I guess spin is looking pretty important here at this point. You haven't seen him in a bit. Hope I uh, hope the same. Yeah. I'm I'm sure he's doing good. He's probably just off doing his own thing. Uh we're gonna want some boats for sure. The question is do I want the boats now? And do I want to upgrade these guys to maybe ha handle something extra. I don't know. I don't think we need to. Range on here would be pretty cracked. Uh, you feel like he's gonna drop some boats on me? Back A back rank boat would be really awful here for me to deal with. I could just keep them busy with some wasps. But maybe I just put a... I, I'm, I'm just gonna fucking put a boat up here. Lamau. I guess this boat could go back here for defense purposes, hopefully. But yeah, the, you're right. I should probably play around that to some degree. Okay. Um, This pathing isn't really... Oh, shit. I did not do the thing fast enough. Okay, so they're, they're back ranking me with some fangs. We'll see how that plays. My, my, no, <laughs> the greatest spin of all time. Oh my God. It's okay. We've got fire. We have fire. We're going to be fine. Everything's all right. Just going to win because boat. There we go. Hopefully this is the boat that I, uh, no, this is not the boat that I made. The boat that I made was the one that died. Okay. We're probably going to want two of these guys. And that way we can um, just photon emission everything. Alright. Elite Sledges is pretty dank, but Amp Core is just really nice. I don't care about fire because I'm already making a dummy amount of fire. Um, that said, we should probably defend against some fire by placing down some shields. Happy to do. Happy to do it. And are you in range to get like a decent one of these off? Hopefully. Hopefully that's good enough. And uh, let's relocate you so you don't have to experience that again. My sweet, my sweet rhinoceros boy. Alright, there we go. And... Right, we, we, we got a buy sell. For one. And we, we want to deal with these guys back here. I could just have some storms do that. And then these guys will come into the fight and be useful later. This seems like a win-win. And I think we'll get our... Do we want to get fire? I, I think oil is pretty sick here. Oil seems really nice here. It should be good. Is this going to lethal them? Probably not. Is it going to be really good? I hope so. 
Uh, let's just ignore the guys and go straight for the tower. Let's try that out. Yep, they got Ignite because they want to do a lot of damage to my guys. That makes sense. That fire should uh, melt through stuff pretty well, hopefully. Wow, the Ignite's roasting my Rhino. That's very upsetting. Holy shit. They, they actually beat my Rhino. Okay. And... I mean, we've still got our fire collars, so there's that. No! <laughs> I'm having to storm myself. It's the worst. I hate having to storm myself. Okay. I guess at this point, I just need more defense for my, uh... My stuff. Oh, my shield. Oh, my shield. Crack. I really need to get the gut shot in here. Um, maybe with the right item we'll we'll just be able to blow him up over like a an explosion. I mean Asking you shall receive, right? Yeah, I did ask for an explosion. I think these guys, this dude will be able to make it past this time. I'm going to give him another try. Mustangs would be good. Nah, their fangs are too stacked. Fangs will get killed. Um... More boat? Range thangs? Okay, maybe. I think we sell our, uh... Our balls. They're really not doing it for us anymore. I'm gonna put these guys away in the back for later sort of thing. And we'll level up these guys. Is EMP important at all? Yeah, EMP is... You know what? No, just get range. Just get range. It's the, it's the correct play. And... Do a little buy-sell. I can't buy-sell. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot that I, I couldn't do a buy-sell there. That's okay. We'll have some wasps get involved. And I definitely want this shield back. I, f I feel like we're we're kind of ahead right now. They're not nuking me, which is definitely a bit of a thing to note. I didn't punch through the shield like I wanted. Okay, it, it went down. The shield did in fact go down. Blow up! Nice! That was a big boom. They are going to sneak a tower from me. Which is not great, but that's okay. Oh my god. Yeah, we're losing the round. I'm gonna have to get rid of my Rhino. No one buys nukes. They they went for the 30% bonus damage, which makes a lot of sense here. Okay. So they have Phoenix now. Which is not great for me. What do I want to do into the Phoenix? Mass Overlord. It's a bit of a meme. Rhino Assault is... It's pretty good. We'll take it. Do one of these. Do one of these. Yeah, we are we're in a bit of a dangerous spot. Okay, we the balls are the one of the biggest weaknesses that our, our squad has. Let's grab this guy for later. We're gonna run him in this way. That might work. And do we get... I think we get our own upgraded fangs at this point. So we, we just get range and shield. And then we buy... Uh, elite recruit. Some more fangs on the corners. And these will deal with the, the back line here really cleanly, I think. I don't really know. I don't think I want them fighting with the other fangs. Um, okay. Get our armor. Defend the, the turrets. I always call them turrets. I know they're not turrets. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I call them the wrong thing every time. I can't stop myself. Okay, I definitely want speed, and I want range. And, um, 
I, I won't commit any harder than that. That seems fine. Kind of like this. See how that plays. Okay, we both rhino down. They have a lot to deal with. My my ship got ignited down pretty rapidly there. Their phoenixes are rebuilding, which is really annoying. How many phoenixes do they have? It's so chaotic with both players flanking, that's for sure. I'm burning myself! Oh my god. Okay. Do I have enough fangs to win this? I don't think I do in this instance. I could get Mechanical Rage to ramp my damage a lot, but I think I need EMP Snipers to, to beat their air. Or I could go Fortress. Fortress is okay, but they've got Ignite. It's really scary. I mean, this makes it less scary. Okay. Let's, let's go for it. I should, I should just sell them. I don't lose anything for doing that even now. Okay, let's uh let's get these guys down here. And we'll get do I get mecha rage? Or do I get a I th I think I get the tier two tier two one of these guys with this. And we'll we'll put them way back here. It's fine by me. Do I keep leveling these fangs? They must be doing something if they're levelable, right? Giant spec, strike spec, improve phoenix, range. He's got a lot of stuff that I have to deal with. That's for certain. Okay, we sold our balls. We haven't sold our rhino yet. I don't think the rhino can do anything anymore. But maybe we can run him in here, and he can just cause a little bit of havoc. I, I think him getting stolen is, is irrelevant, because he's not really going to do that much. There's a couple level ups I could get here, but I'm not going to bother with that. And uh, I think we have to do a little bit of saving this round. We'll see how this goes. They've got the shield. Yeah, it is a jam and a bop. Whatever you'd like to call it, that's what it is. Dude, that is a speedy hacker. They bought the, the speed bonus this time around. Oh, man. I think my opponents outscaled me here. I don't see myself winning this. Are we dead this round? We're probably dead this round. I think they got us. They played well. I, I My uh, Mass Phoenix made it so I didn't really have a good counter. Like, maybe I could have gone Stang, but I had fire on the ground. Yeah, they, they got me. That was well played. That was, uh, that was well played. <clears throat> Alrighty. Let's jump in on another one. I gotta grab some water after this game. We'll do one more, though. Insight. And they have... 15,000 combat power with the same MMR as me. I don't know what that means, but I, I think that means that they're really good and scaling quickly, if I had to guess. Lower combat power is, is not always an indication of bad. Oh, that means they're bad? Oh, okay. Well, I'll take that, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to go for this elite spec, because I like elite spec a lot. It means they're losing uh, their rank in MMR. Okay, let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Something like that looks pretty good. Your combat power is higher because you win more. I would really not look uh, at it now because they changed how it works. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really... Uh, I'm not well versed in that, so... Very unsure. Sniper Sledge. I do love me a sniper sledge game. I'm I I love the ditto, especially with elite spec. They're giant spec. 
So yeah, just just mashing the marksman button is gonna be really good here. There's pretty much no reason not to. I've got my tanks a little bit far back. That's intentional. Uh, the only question is, do I bother with a shield? And I think the answer is, oh, ah, yeah, nah. I can I can buy an extra unit next turn if I don't buy a shield. Whoa, really bad zoom in there. Okay, so they did go arc light. I feel like they win this because they just have more invested than I do. But um, my one sniper will put in some pretty good work as long as they don't focus the same target. Maybe we'll be okay. The, the, the middle crawler pack looks like it's going to do some disgusting work here. Yeah, maybe we do win this because of that center crawler pack. They did lose all their snipers, which means our sniper at minimum wins. Bare minimum is we win with a single sniper, but it looks like we're winning with a couple tanks as well. And are you getting a level up? Off of these kills, the answer is no. It's not going to be enough, but... You know, level 3 marksman. It, I, I love how elite specialist is uh, level 3 marksman spec sometimes. <laughs> like, look at how close I am to leveling. That's so dumb. Alright. Um, staying cost down is great. I really like that. Redeployment doesn't matter here. I really, really like staying cost down in this situation. They they help a lot. That, that, that even if I don't get stangs now, because they don't do anything into this matchup, they'll be really useful later. And we're we're gonna get four snipers. Just just go fucking nuts. Just just do it. Snipers everywhere. There we go. Did you get the XP if you partially... Oh, wait. Do you get XP if you partially kill a squad, e.g. if you kill three of five tanks uh, in a sledgehammer unit? Yeah. Yeah, you get you get XP per kill. Um, I, that might change if it's like a bunch of units. But um, from what I can tell... I, I'm not an EXP nerd. I don't know the, the algorithms or anything like that. But, it, you know, you could, you could see the, the XP tick up after killing a single tank, so... I would imagine that's how that works. Oh, this song is such a banger. Yeah, they, they went fang, which is very uh, logical. Really well placed. Yeah, they, so what they should theoretically do is, is just spam out fangs because they're giant spec. And um, having like a bunch of little guys with a bunch of big guys is, is generally the, the end game setup. Okay. I do have two snipers raring to go though. The other two are, are dead meat. But we'll, we'll cover those with sledges later. And that'll be fine. The, the right one manages or managed to hang in there, which is really nice. Look at the damage! Pew, pew, pew. I love the snipers. I love the snipers so much. I know I shouldn't because they're they're a pretty degen unit, but they're just so strong. Uh, subsidized arc light sounds good, but I, I I don't really put too much respect on the arc light anymore, honestly. Uh, incendiary bomb is is pretty good here. I'm just gonna place it like this. They can counter it if they want. I'm not going to bother investing in the oil this turn. I'll probably buy it on a future turn. But, um... Definitely want that down. And considering we lost on this side, something like this would probably be pretty welcome. I want to keep that distance apart a little bit. And these these crawlers have been... They, they've earned their, their paycheck. They can get the upgrade. If I were to anticipate a giant from my opponent, probably a, I don't know, probably a fortress with all these fangs. No, Vulcan. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy to fight a Vulcan here. Point is, some people are naturally good at uh, this game, but didn't grind a lot, so they have high MMR, but low combat power. Right. Yeah, I mean that that that's just like placements, right? That that's that's what I thought that or how I thought that would work. 
In in my brain, that's how that works. That only applies to new players. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Ooh, I got their missile. That's nice. Dude, these snipers are going to get so out of control. This is... The Mustang sniper build is... It's just so good. Tank line production is really strong. But I, I think we just take the 30% bonus attack. And uh, let's grab these here. And... Do we just grab more sniper? More more dots, more deeps? More sniper. Why not? Okay. These guys should handle that pretty well. I've got the the double there. I, I might I might get some arc lights at some point, we'll see. Alright. I could probably use a little more... Oh, that's... That's a thing. Okay, we're probably going to want to get rid of our crawlers on the left side just so we don't have to feed into Parasitic. And... I don't have armor on my tanks. I'm probably going to sell these tanks if they don't level this turn. Okay, so they got range on their fangs. They're buying even more. I'm gonna have to go into arcs, I think. Okay, so they're just they're just going on the sides here. And the other option is I go into my own Vulcan, which is very good into Fangs. That's not the worst play. They're they're looking to win this side. The missile's a, a good idea. Mm, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt real bad. I think this is a real iffy one to win. We're, we're gonna need... Oh, you know what? I should just go Storm, shouldn't I? They just kind of get wrecked by Storms. But maybe I just keep investing in what I have and my, my tanks will eventually level out. <laughs> I think we're losing to these crawlers, maybe. Oh, snipe, snipe down the Vulcan. Get that damage. Never mind. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> We're losing our front or our, our middle shield and everything. What a shame. Okay. It's okay. Far far right snipers sniping away. It's looking good. I did A for effort. They got me on that round. Okay, we need we need to play around the um the parasitic for sure. Giant Hunter's kind of cute, but they don't have much to hunt. Charged Ammo is very strong. Um, but maybe I just get Photon. Photon to help tank for a while seems good. Get Mechanical Rage. And we definitely need more assistance with our, our wave clearing. I'm gonna do a, a combination. I'll place one over on this side. I don't want to stack up these too much, but that is a bit of a thing. Okay. Photon should probably look something like that. It's very tempting to overdraw this turn, but I don't think I should. They went subsidized arc light and bang speed. Probably should have sold those guys. I gotta keep a close eye on Parasitic. It's a very insidious upgrade. I think my combat or you think Ailey's combat power is not that high? Seems only slightly higher than I would have expected. I mean it I over the past three days, I went from... I, I think I gained, like, 10,000 rating or something stupid like that. It was dumb. I don't know how I gained so much rating. I'm assuming because I was winning a lot. But I had to guess. It's a lot of wasted time with that. 
pretty not great. Oh man, all the snipers are getting distracted by the the parasitic. I, I need an arc light in the back here. Just a, a backward arc light position. This is still winnable. It's just not pretty anymore. Is this still winnable? Maybe it's not. Maybe the crawlers are too much. The parasitic is so cheese. It's very good. And by so cheese, I mean it's it's just, you know, it is what it is. It's it's balanced. Okay. Do one of these. Alright, that's a good sign. We didn't have to overdraw and we did win the turn. Which is great. Acid Blast is super schnasty here. If he doesn't do anything about it, it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck really hard for him. Let's go ahead and grab all this. Alrighty. And we want like an arc light further back like this. We're also going to sell off these guys. I should buy my range, finally. I've been holding off on that for an extremely long time. And I feel a little bit silly about it. Do a little something like this. And I just hope I don't get acided, I guess. Is that it? Acid doesn't hurt that bad on snipers, right? Like, it, it'll be okay. Who would do that? Who would, who would acid snipers? Hmm. Let's let's just okay. They smoked me. That's pretty bad. I did get the range bonus though, so hopefully it won't matter. Oh, they're firing me! Shit. Okay, we're gonna have to buy some stuff for that. That's really bad. Oh, we're we're having a disaster around here. This is a nightmare. I should have overdrawn. I regret everything. I regret everything! Okay, all these fangs are gonna die at least, so there's that. Do have that advantage. But we're taking some hefty damage here. Okay. That's gonna hurt. How do I counter this out? I mean, we're, we're just kind of fucked when it comes to that there specifically. x pack seems good. Grab all of this. EMP time? Probably a little late to do this. But I'm doing it anyway. Okay. EMP on tanks, maybe? They don't really have much to deal with my EMP. I could also just EMP on some collars, but then I can't get my fire collar as early as I want. This costs 450. This costs this costs 250. But then I can't get fire collar. Fire on their side is really good. I definitely need this. That seems pretty mandatory. And we will go for the EMP on that. And we'll we'll delay the fire caller for now. They don't really have that much to to handle this. So we'll go for that. And just some fire right there. They're gonna have to shield up like crazy if they want to avoid that. We are getting fire on, like, a single thing. Dude, their marksman is out-leveling us now! That's not good. They're getting to feast... Oh, wow. All right. They're getting to feast off of my tanks, which is the most problematic thing. Okay. How bad is it? What is that guy doing? The smoke is fucking me so hard. Am I just dead this turn to smoke? We might just be dead this turn to smoke. We'll see. It, it certainly feels that way. 
Okay. This guy's putting in insane work. Kudos. There's there's definitely some stuff going on here. We actually cleared pretty well. I think if we get fire callers, we're gonna be okay. And like right now, we just have smoke in a really dumb spot. I I can't I can't do that, Horatio. But hang in there. You got this. Just keep at it. The the pain will subside. Things will work out. I believe in you, Horatio. Okay, a Vulcan drop seems pretty nice. Get one of those. And uh, we're shielding the fuck up. Because I'm afraid. And we're grabbing fire. And uh, we did not pop the, the middle here like I wanted, so... Hopefully get that now. Get the range. One of these. Should I recycle anything? These crawlers are just... They're, they're just dead dead weight for the most part. If my opponent's smart, he'll go wasps this turn to kill me. He will just kill me with wasps this turn if he does it. But let's hope he doesn't do that. <laughs> that, would, that would suck. He just did wasps. Um, A little bit of this. I'm relying a lot on my tanks to clear. Tanks and fire callers. I, I think this is winnable still. They have shields, but we got our fire in time. This might be okay. I just want to make sure you guys aren't like fighting. You're just debating, right? Let's let's not uh, let's not lose any sleep over this conversation. It's no biggie. They did get the, the skill thing. Alright. Let's see how this fares. They do be setting things on fire. But we're going to be doing the same now. These backline crawlers are just killing themselves, essentially. There's so much fire! Oh god! Okay, EMP saved the shit out of us. Oh my god, EMP. Let's go. Losing so much sleep tonight. Alright. That was good. Barrier. Barrier Vulcan. Seems pretty insane here. Get our own Vulcan. There we go. Let's do one of these. Make sure we get our levels. My opponent should probably go air. But I think I've got enough snipers now where it might not matter if they go air. No, it'll definitely matter. I'm losing if they go air. I need to put these down and hope that that's enough to stop them. Let's grab the extra range this turn. I don't have air for my arc lights. We're just going to take our levels and hope things work out. We're getting smoked this turn. I'm going to overdraw just to guarantee that everything I want can shoot. Okay. There we go. You're going to self-soothe with pizza. That sounds optimal. Okay. There are the wasps. Probably should have dealt with that sooner, but I'm hoping that I can just rip through his front line really, really fast, and then my snipers will do the job. And also, this will blow stuff up. What are they going for? They got their, their armor and their speed. I don't know. There's the smoke. You know, in a, and in a relevant spot, thankfully. Does not make a difference. Okay. Please be enough fire. Oh, huge missile. That missile is really big. Hopefully that's enough to, to win the round. We'll see. I have a lot of uh, wasps I have to take out with very little. Just, just the snipers that I've got. 
This might be a winnable one, but I'm going to need to go for my own wasps here on the next turn, regardless of what happens. If there is another turn, the wasps are doing wonders. But I, I don't think it's enough. The shields were really good. Are they dead? Yeah, they're dead off this. So we, we did manage to blow them up fast enough. Why not boats? Because they've got shields, so the, it doesn't matter. But they're, they're dead. I'd rather just counter with my own wasps in a situation like this, especially as elite spec. Elite spec, you can kind of just mirror your opponent, and as long as you do it better, you win. Which is funny. Because it's, it's just their units, but better, you know? Alrighty. It's 7 o'clock. I said I was going to uh, finish off the stream at 7. It's it's a little bit of a short stream today. Uh, so, let's see. What day is it today? Monday? I'll be back on Tuesday with a pure... Uh, a, a pure Mecha Bellum stream. And uh, then on Thursday, we will be doing a roguelike extravaganza. So we're going to play a bunch of roguelikes in a row. That should be a ton of fun. Um, I might restart my stream later after dinner. We'll see. And I, yeah, I can, I can pet the cat. Hang on. Oh. All right. Alrighty. That's going to be all for now. Hope everybody enjoyed today's stream. We'll be back with more Mechabellum uh, either tomorrow or sooner, maybe, maybe later today. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Thank you all for hanging out. I enjoyed this today a lot. And uh, it was nice to do even more uh, different stuff. Heroes Hour was a good time. Uh, I don't know if I'll play it again sometime soon, but uh, I would like to. Uh, I see Time for Miracle on. Time for Miracle is uh, is one of the best to ever do it, and I have yet to introduce myself, but I've seen them in the chat, and they seem pretty funny, so let's go check them out. Let's go check out Time for Miracle. Everybody, please go make some noise. And, uh, yeah, thank you all very much for hanging out today. I'll catch you next time with some more Mechabellum and whatever else. Also, make sure you check out the YouTube. There will be plenty of Mechabellum content coming to there as well. All right, bye.